Hi there. Uh, I'm an idiot, and I forgot to record all the audio for the first, like, 30 minutes of the session today. So, that's why I'm here, just giving you a heads up that this starts in the middle of the session, and you missed about 30 minutes of them deciding where to go <laughs> and uh, to leave the castle for a period of time to rest and recuperate. Uh, you didn't miss anything else other than that, and uh, some, some light roleplay options, but essentially, they left the castle, went and camped, and then came back, which you'll see. Assuming uh, that for the moment we're safe, I'm going to take off my leather armor, I'm going to expect, inspect and try and repair it if anything needs to be adjusted or fixed. I'd like to spend another, at least an hour, eating, resting, and fixing my gear. <clears throat> yeah, can we just all take like a long rest? I would love to take a long rest. I don't, I don't know, but I don't think I want to rest too long in the shadow of this building. But no, we're, I will. We're, we're like kind far of away. Safe. Are we far yeah. away? Okay, so this is just the map is just us outside the building. Yeah. So if we can find, yeah, some little overhang or a cave or something. Aren't we safe, Garrett? We, we're just setting up camp, right? We're good. First camping in the woods. Yeah. Garrett said we were safe, so I feel like we should take I feel a like long rest. Really okay. Long All right, rest. I'm gonna click the long rest button. Me too. Yay! My dice is back, right? My side dice. Yeah, I believe. So. Well, whatever, whatever it comes. You want to? This is like this is you guys waiting the rest of the day and into the next day. So this is like, you know, over. <laughs> this is almost twenty-four hours. You have to. Yeah, I mean, fair. We kind of. Well, that was a pretty anyway. big ass battle. Yeah. Probably yeah, tending to our wounds is so. more important than moving early. Plus, we gotta wait for the monk to wake up. Drink some water. Unless he's in some kind of trance. Ooh! Right and early. Good morning, lads and lasses. What? I hey, uh, my eyes. Who are you again? Oh. Well, you. pardon me for not having manners, but I was raised in the mountains. My name's Silver Fox. You can call me. Okay. Silver Fox, what is what is that thing? Oh, oh him? Uh, the uh, the Drake is uh, kind of it, it's kind of like in between his legs, kind of like playing with sticks and shit, kind of like an excited dog. Um, is that a dragon? Oh, that's just that's just Glint. What what is what is Glint exactly? Glint is a Drake. I raised him from an egg myself. He's a dragon? Normally I hate the little buggers. Drakes are so annoying to kill when you're hunting hunting dragons. But this one I don't know. It it, it took a liking to me that none I ever had before. I flinched so it's when a, you said wait, hunting no, hold on. dragons. It's a, so it's a little like a baby dragon? You could say that, yes. What he's grown happened? quite a bit in this short time that I've had him. So I'm trying to stay calm, but I'm very uneasy. I don't like this new creature. Don't worry, he's not gonna bite you unless I tell him to. Seems pretty... It doesn't make me feel any better. Yeah, yeah and it shouldn't be. It really hurt. So I do like one d six damage to you. Let me get this. <laughs> is get he, this is straight. He poisonous? You're, you have a dragon that you are hunting no. dragons. Well, that thing ain't the weirdest thing I've seen since I've been here. That's for sure. I feel like I'm going crazy. I feel like to live in this place with all this weird stuff going on, you have to be part crazy. It certainly feels like some kind of strange dream. What were those things? Hey, dragon lady. What, what were those things? You need to be more specific. What? The things we fought? Yeah. What? How am what? I supposed to know? 
All I know well, is that they started attacking Korthon and Dresden. Who? I know he's Dresden, but who's Korthon? Where is Korthon? Korthon disappeared. He's gone. Who's that? And then was replaced with you. Me? Yes. What are you talking about? As soon as he was slumped <laughs> on the ground, he looked dead. <clears throat> I don't know Korthon if he is. Korthon is gone? They took him? He disappeared. Disappeared like disappeared like a magic trick? Like original Des Dresden magic trick. And he showed up? Through the toilets. I'm he not saying that. Planet, I'm not saying that it's, you know, Dane, but it is kind of a coincidence. What did the lady say about that thing called the multiverse? Well, I guess beings other... come and go from this place, so maybe that's what happened. Maybe when you die, you go back to your home world. Well, if that were the case, <laughs> I could. I'd, I'd be I in could... my home world, but I'm not. I could do something for you. Well, we did wake up in a morgue, so dying doesn't really help. Did we die in our old lives and we came here? I I'm don't remember how I got here. Am I dead? Is this hell? I don't know. All the hells are something completely different entirely. Well, it feels like hell. All I know is. We can go there if you want. And it hurts Old like Dresden hell. was gone and was replaced by new Dresden. I'm using my rations and I'm eating. And my water's good. You each have to use one. <laughs> you have to use one ration because you're waiting for time to pass. Also, <clears throat> do any of you attune to the skull over the next? No, I don't want anything. To do with Twenty-eight the skull. hours. I, I slept. I slept with it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Attune to it then. Right, whatever. Uh, if you're so confident. Okay, I I attune to it. Like, how do I, how do I attune to it? I I Silver Fox was definitely very taken by the skull and how like very shiny it looked, and it was treasure, like the only thing he'd seen of treasure, and so he he coveted it and then wanted it, and uh, I think he would have attuned to it. Yeah. Okay. Well, see, that's something I need to know because it helps you with your adventure. Um, so, <clears throat> when you attune to it, um, you spend an hour and you basically learn all the properties of it. So everything everything that I gave you as part of the handout is what you know about this thing. Um, at, the end of, at the end of your hour, also at the end of the hour, the, um, the skull, once you have attuned to it, um, begins to activate itself. And you can feel the magic of the skull kind of come to life uh, as a result of your attuning to it. I'm taking oh, a by the way, the this skull's skull. magical for sure. Also, you notice that... Um, go ahead and make me an arcana check, actually, everybody who wants to. Okay. I'll do it, but I... I okay. Arcana? Yeah. Um... The skull currently, for those, for oh, okay, Dar, Dar, of course, wouldn't know. That 20. Um, no, I don't. I but the other two of you, you realize that the skull is partially broken at the moment. You see, it's you magical, could, but it, it's flawed. You could also repair it if you want to. Um, there is there is what? a way to repair the, the, the skull. Um, but whatever okay. information it might hold is unavailable until you do. So, it doesn't do anything, we just know it's magical and it starts to activate, but we need to repair it somehow. Yeah. Do we know what we need to repair it? <coughs> do we need anything to repair it? You you do. Um, so what's, what's our arcana check then? Is it just sort of general knowledge of how magic works? Is that kind of it? It's like it's knowledge of magic and magical things. Okay. Things that are beyond the pale and all that fun stuff. 
Alright. Um, I'm uh, see. There is something that's I'm gonna continue to rest. I'm gonna lay down on my bedroll. But I'm gonna keep one eye on the dragon dog. Um so if you wanted if you wanted to spend an hour, you could uh, the two of you could repair the Mimir if you wanted to. Figure out a way okay. to fix it. Forced bonding. Now, now what's your name, Dragon Spawn? Kaya Kayasa. Now, Dragonborn. You, you see here how this piece is cracked? I think if we perhaps used a bit of tree sap and some 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 gold gold shavings from some from uh, the the gold in our purse, possibly possibly repair it. Some scotch tape, or in my life, we just call it tape. <laughs> we just call it. I could take one of my arrows. From. It's just known as tape. I could take one of my arrows and like probe it. Every good maybe, ranger carries maybe one of my a horn roll scratches. of scotch tape. I'll take one of my arrows and probe it a little bit. A little saliva. Um, so I guess. It, so, we, so we take. <laughs> Hannah, you want Hannah? You want to take the time to fix this thing? Yeah. All right, let's okay. fix the thing. Okay, fair enough. And now you can use you can use the uh, the item as it was intended, if you wish. Okay, so I want to use it. What it, what is that? What is using it entail? Use it. Um, do we get three wishes? The no, the item itself says what it does. It Enough, it says, okay. so read it. Uh, as a bonus action, you can toss it into the air, whereupon it floats at a distance of one d three feet from you, and you can access its properties. What its properties? Mimir. It's called Mimir. Um, okay. That's kind of so funny. So you you take the time you chuck the skull into the air a little bit and it the magic activates and it begins to float. Uh, about. Ooh, float it. But it begins to float about two feet from you. I'm gonna say that I'm gonna say hey. Oh. You've seen a floating skull before. Immunity to poison and psychic damage. What? And resistance to all other damage. It, what? What happened? The, the device the has the item. Where are you seeing this? It's so it's if you go to the picture, the mirror. Oh. It says it the right picture here. I gave you. If you scroll down, it has the description of the item in it. What oh. picture? Oh. Okay. While the device is floating, you can use an action to cast a legend lore from the device. The device speaks revealed us? lore out loud. Oh. <gasps> nice. Wait, what? Once this property has been used, it can, it can't be used again until next dawn. Okay. Hmm. Pla planar knowledge that the device knows basic uh, useful information about the planes of existence. While the device is floating, it verbally answers questions you or anyone you designate poses to it about that topic. It knows the information about the planes in the dungeon master's guide. Oh. Well, it's oh. basic information about the gate towns of the Outlands. So that's awesome. What should we, we ask? That? It? Um, I wonder if we could ask about those people that attacked us. What well, do you think? Those those people are far behind us. Perhaps something. But what more... were they looking for? Perhaps maybe we should ask where to find. This little bugger we're supposed to be hunting. This is true. But it knows information about the gate towns. So, <clears throat> the way that it works is you can ask it any question, but if you use the legend lore property, it gives you other things that the spell would give you, and then it can't be used again for one day. But the skull itself will continue to function if you just ask it basic questions after that. Yeah, I think we're just gonna ask it basic questions. The skull shaped device is I, I want to do the legend lore thing. Well, yeah, but we should ask it questions first before we can't use it. Yeah, fair enough. Because then it's like, oh, damn, wish I could have asked this question. All right, skull. Wait, where are we supposed to be going? What what gate town? Automata. It's a, it's a city called Automata. It's apparently filled with mechanisms or mechanized beings. Tell us what direction is Automata in? Error. 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 Data missing. God damn it, the, the batteries are dead. You always say it, data missing. Can it read the notes that I picked up? Is, but it doesn't seem to know what we're talking about. Maybe Let me check my pack. Oh, I have 9 volts. I have 9 volts in my pack. 
It appears my memory is incomplete. Corrupted data exists. Wow, are you can you tell us anything about Automata? Unfortunately, no. Can you tell us anything about the Outlands? Curious. Fortunately, yes. Can you tell us about the Spire? What would you like to know about the Spire? Why are you talking Jesus. like Cary Grant? Um... Never mind, I don't want to know about this. Part. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I was just thinking what we could ask. ask another question. I just want to look Do at the map. Do you have any information really on this? Thanks for wasting my time. time. <laughs> <laughs> what can you tell us about the ruins in the Outlands? Which ruins are you specifically talking about? The one we were just at. <laughs> Oh I was God. not there. I don't know anything about those <laughs> ruins. I don't know. You, I picked you up from there. <laughs> How do you not know about it? I want, to, I want to describe. I want to describe the spire we just came out of and ask if there's anything like oh, about okay. it. the castle, not the spire. The castle, the castle yeah. The, the castle and the spire are two different things. That's I true. Confused. I didn't want to talk about the spire anymore. Where is that map? Um. Uh, yeah, the the castle. Does he know? He, he doesn't know about the. Yeah, he just does general information with the island. So he says, um, "The castle I was in, I was in the castle, and I was in that castle because I was there." Okay. Oh, that's it. My previous Fuck owner this. left me behind. Who was your previous owner? Searching data banks. Previous owner found. Previous owner designation, the Modron named Rome. Ooh, ooh. Write that down, write that down. Is that relevant? Is that the, is that the bugger's name? Modron? Mm -hmm. Rome is the Modron you were looking for, by the way. Rome. So he was Any there. Any idea where, where he went? Rome? Rome. R04 M. Yes. I doubt as well. I suppose you wouldn't know that kind of information, huh? Rome. That's the guy we're looking for. Yes. What a it tremendous is. stroke of luck. Yeah, good thing I picked this up. Good, good thing we wandered into this random castle. <laughs> Do you think he might still be there? There might be more evidence. Maybe his database is in Do, there, too. Do you think he was captured by those devil buggers? He could be. Oh no. Or at least it'll lead to something. Maybe we could find him. It was his last whereabouts. Oh, wait. I'm gonna fish what out. Did? I'm gonna fish out the fangs we took from that big motherfucker. I'm gonna hold it up to the skull and I'm gonna say, "Can you identify what this fang is from?" Uh. He says, I don't know. I'm unfamiliar. What do you know? I know general information about the Outlands as well as some detailed information about the gate towns here in the Outlands. What do you know about Automata? Corrupted data persists. Unfortunately, my databanks have been damaged regarding automata. What can you tell us about? How did they get damaged? Rip cage. Uh, that's a good question. Hold on a second. Tell us about Excelsior. <laughs> Searching databanks. Oh, glorium! I've always wanted to visit Isgard. Error. Corrupted data exists regarding Excelsior and Glorium. Ribcage. Well, well, that's just... What about the ribcage? Searching databanks. <laughs> As he looks up the module, <laughs> of the of all the locations. As he scrolls. Uh, sorry, hold on a second. We have, a. Uh, we can show, uh... I think we're in Regus. Here, what hell is really like. I think we're in Regus. Regus. That's right, I think. Where is that, Dad? On the left, on the western side of the circular outlands. I don't know. 
Data retrieved. Oh, I see what you mean. <gasps> data retrieved! <laughs> uh -huh. Ribcage is the blackened heart of the Vale of the Spine, a jagged range of barren mountains whose peaks curve inward around a smoldering valley. Iron walls encircle the fortified town in two rows of cracked dry spires of rock curl over its arid sky. The earthen ribs from which the gate town derives its name. Ribcages meaning arched gates festooned with wings like those of a bat and formed from infernal steel allude to the power of the lords of the nine hells. Who are the lords? Seems like a charming place. Who are the lords? What well, can you tell us about the, the gate town, Regus? Jesus. Regus? 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 Whatever. Regus. Error. Corrupted data persists. <laughs> data on Regus not found. What about ecstasy? Or ecstasy? Yeah, ecstasy. Such Let's just dangerous. go there. Fuck this. We're gonna do this for the entire fucking map. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get the information ecstasy. we can get Come out of this guy. We just need to know where Automata is. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know anything. What well, then he's worthless. What were you, what were you asking about? Ecstasy. E-C-S-T-A-S-Y. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. I'm looking it up. Oh. Data found. The rolling oh. hills of ecstasy, the city of plinths, rise from a serene stretch of the outlands. Blanketed in peace and contentment, ecstasy is a pastoral gate town of quiet contemplation and simple pleasures. Hundreds of monoliths, shaped from a variety of materials, dot the idyllic landscape. Their origins unknown, the plinths are works of art. Marble columns adorned with breathtaking sculptures, intricately carved wooden poles, natural standing stones, and refractive crystal pedestals. Like ghosts drawn to a shrine, petitioners perch atop the towering plinths, inviting townsfolk to ponder the multiverse's great mysteries with them. Multiverse? Hear that, Silver Fox? If this is the, you, the, the place where all realms meet, how are we supposed to get back to the material realm? <clears throat> I don't know. Through a portal, I guess. It okay. seems all the portals this guy knows about are to places that I'm not from. Well, you know what? If he doesn't know about Automata, maybe he knows where it is in relation to these other places. Ask him what what's close to Automata. Do you know so the I'm... Mr. Skull, do you know the closest gate town to us? I don't know where we are. Oh. Should we describe what it? What if to we him? showed you this nah I'm not <laughs> Can you look around now? Can we find our location on the map and show I, I, Well, we were looking last time. We don't know where we are, but I think we're in Ragus because it, is that water or is that blue sand to the north of Ragus on the map? It's water. You don't know? We don't know. It doesn't look like water. Um. Can we get so a, we were, a description so we of that tower we were at again? Does that... Does that match anything on the fucking map? Because I thought we were at these little... See those two towers with the blue tops? No. Because there's an arch in a cave right next to it. No, the, the castle that you were just at is not on the map. Oh, okay. I can tell you that with certainty. But we were at the spire, and then we walked from the spire to the castle. Uh, like, for a whole day. We weren't at the spire. You you took a oh, you took a portal you from Sigil, which is on top of the spire, into the middle of the outlands somewhere. You don't know where you are. And you came well, across I... the castle, which, by the way, you have not explored fully. I don't want to go back in there. Perhaps we should. Perhaps we already Honestly, found the clue that led us to this guy we're supposed to capture. Perhaps there's more clues there. there Perhaps he's leave? there. This is his property, after all. We might be missing something from Ro Rome. Rome? Whatever Rome. the guy's name is. R04M. Yes. It might be worth it to go back and just use extra caution and be ready for a fight this time. We can maybe even convince them. I, I'm not sure what made you guys do so badly in that fight before, but 
perhaps if we approach it with a bit more stealth and and uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, discreet. Oh. We might be more successful. I agree, but how are we supposed to blend in? Look at us. Not Look blend in. Hide. Strike from the shadows. Use the, our advantages against us. Against them. Just imagine them going, I spring from the shadows. <laughs> you don't don't the burn forever! <laughs> don't burn. <laughs> Um, what do you say? Should we go back or should we just keep wandering this forest and desert of blue sand? You keep talking about I think about. we should go back. There might be something we missed about the whereabouts of the guy we're looking for. He was there last. We have the skull. I mean, to be oh. fair, last time you didn't have me with you. You had whoever that other bloke was. Well, we can't go in like we used, to, like we did last time. No. If we're gonna go back Nothing in. For you. We gotta do it smart. We gotta leave Dresden out at the camp. <laughs> I'm a little quieter than all of you, probably. I could always perch up at the top. Have good views with my bow. All right, my bow. My bow. <sighs> I had to say it. <laughs> but at the at the first sign of giant green demons, we're out of there, right? Let's get in. Let's steal what we need. Let's stay out of trouble and let's stay not dead. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. So no second story. We're going through the front. We clear each area. We do it smart. Now you're speaking my language. Alright. Alright then. My boy. <laughs> you had the chance to change your fate. Would you? Would you? Alright, I think we're gonna go back to the to the place. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. So, uh, presuming that you said you wanted to do this stealthily, I need stealth checks yeah. for everybody. Do, 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 do. Including the dragon. Well, we're gonna go through the ground heavy floor. Armor? What the fuck? Wait a second, that's not right. It's what you picked, apparently. Scale mail? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh well, I still rolled a fucking oh. 20. Uh, let me see the dragon. If it doesn't have a stealth plus anything on its character sheet, um, just roll a dexterity check. On it up. Um, it does not. I'll just roll dex. Okay. Wait. Okay. Alrighty, so, approaching the castle as stealthily as you possibly can. Doesn't take you too terribly long. You unfortunately have to leave Dresden behind because he's still not awake after 24 hours. Or a bastard. Oh. Okay. He is, however, soundly sleeping in the trunk of the tree. Let's 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 hang him up from the limb of a tree so that the bears don't get him. But what about the leopards? <laughs> yeah. What about, what about, what about the leopards? These demon assholes. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we're going to be quiet, we're going to listen, we're going to watch, we're going to sneak around. Yeah? So, uh, yeah, so you're on You're on basically like the first terrace of the okay. castle here. So we search the whole castle, what do we find? Yeah, <laughs> what do we find, huh? <laughs> we search the castle. We search the whole castle. Things. Your character is still at the end of the castle. There you go. So, there's glowing things candles. Um, there, there are lit candles. Uh, there is a couple of doors there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
So I, I kind of whisper to the others and go, there's doors. Um, can, can I like peek listen, through? Listen, listening, listening. Yeah, let's listen. The... <laughs> oh, sorry, hold on. These ones, I don't know why, but they should be open. If someone who doesn't know they're being watched has no reason to be quiet, so we should be able to hear them if we're silent enough. Um, I quickly scan the room and I don't see anyone. I go, there's no one down there. Okay. So um, here, what are we find in this room? In here, there's a there big table. are all manner of tomes, scrolls, tablets, and folios that cram the towering shelves of this airy library. Ooh. An ancient wooden table surrounded by matching benches stands at the room center near an ornate spiral staircase that climbs through the ceiling above. To the north are statues of Githzerai scholars and an alcove with a table covered in candles. To the south, at another alcove, stands a crystal sarcophagus. Ooh. Um, okay. Crystal. Not Is the head missing? Is the skull missing? Um, visible through the transparent lid of the sarcophagus is the mummified body of a Githzerai whose name is etched on the lid. What, do, can uh, we read the name? It, you know or Gith? is it just like Gith and we don't know? We don't know Gith. If you don't know Gith, you don't know the name. Um, okay. I'm going to throw the skull into the air. Okay. And uh, ask and him I can he read, if he can read the etched on the tablet. What's etched on the tablet? I don't know. Can I um, look at this table and as far as I know, I don't think it, it understands your language, I'm assuming. Perhaps, well, this, this looks like a legendary person. Perhaps, if we... Did, I want to cast Legend Lore to learn about this, whoever's in here. Maybe the magic the, the magic will come to the skull and he'll... he'll, he'll All right. Okay, let me read this well, one real quick. Hold on. Well, while they do that, I'm going to walk the perimeter of this room and look for supplies, I wanna... water, food, okay. anything I, I think that might help. Okay, so just heads up, Daniel. Maps, the, the maps. casting time of Legend Lore takes 10 minutes. So for the next 10 minutes, you're going to be doing this. Okay. Yeah, we can spend 10 so minutes in here. here. essentially says, searching data banks, one moment, and then begins to kind of glow and, and pulse with a regular rhythm. Uh, the rest of you... I wanna, maps, supplies, maps and supplies, and anything else that might help us navigate the outlands. There's there are a number of uh, research materials in this room, including the stuff on the table. Yeah, um, I want to see that. If you wanted to search for something specific, you're welcome to spend an hour to search the library for what you want. Health potions, health potions. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of or, knowledge. A wand health of kit, unlimited health, health spells. The the rest of you're just going doing like a uh, uh, a cursory glance. Um, a couple of things. Yeah, there are. I'm poking. I'm poking through everything. I'm looking at it, but I'm I'm poking through it. I'm not. There are several incense sticks and things that are located in this northern alcove over here. Hey, those are worth thirty gold each. I don't care. And there is a partially melted uh, candle. And. Uh, one of the alcoves uh, in this room that appears to be some kind of magical candle or some kind of ritualistic candle of some kind. I don't care about that either. You guys can grab it if you want. Um, um, can not, I look for anything that has to do with the guy we're looking for? Is there anything shiny? <laughs> <laughs> Treasury. Really. Other than the gigantic crystal sarcophagus, no. Okay, well then that's where I am. I want to right. look for anything regarding the guy we're looking for. And it, yeah, um, like I'm looking for um, scrolls, maps, or books, or maps. Yeah, maps or other supplies, and I'm also looking for um, books in languages I can read. Okay, you you find both of those. Like, those both exist. Um, there are a number of different maps of different places uh, in in and around the Outlands. Um, okay. There's no like you are here on any of those maps. So they're about as helpful as the map you have at the moment. Um, but if, if you want to like find any other information about the um, 
the different places in the Outlands, you assume you could do so here. Okay. Um, there are several books that are that are written in a language that you do understand, and that you could peruse for information if you had the time to. Okay. I mean, I have an hour. I'm not going to take it with me. I just want to poke around, and you, you tell me what I can learn in, from a, just a general reading of whatever the information is. I'm, I'm looking for maps that'll find our way to uh, Automata, and books about Automata, and maybe the creatures that we've encountered so far. Okay. So you'll be doing that. Uh, is, is, what is Kava doing? Same thing? Yeah, I want to look for anything of regard to the guy that we're trying to find, and any information about portals and um, the multiverse. Okay. So you two are looking for that for an hour. So ten minutes later, the legend lore spell uh, finishes. So, when it does, you can name or describe a person, place, or object. The spell brings to your mind a brief summary of the significant lore about the thing that you named. So, in this instance, it was the castle, yes? Um, the castle, and can I include the 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 crystal casket and the gith zerai inside? Sure. Well, it says one thing. So, you can do the castle in general, or if you want to do specifically the casket and the guy, then you can. It's up to you. But you have you, you got to be specific about the one thing. Let's do the castle. Okay. Okay. Loading, loading. Yeah. Loading. Buffering, buffering. Buffering. L O A D I N G loading, loading. Eighty-eight percent. This is the walking castle of Ied Karu, <laughs> and is a treasure from ages past. It was initially created by Gith Zerai as a hermitage where ascetics could travel the outlands and meditate on the nature of the realms beyond. While the castle has mostly been forgotten by the Gith Zerai scholars, it remains the home of several. Not anymore. No, anymore. Well, that was helpful. It remains the home of green skinned demons. Well, hopefully not for long there either. Perhaps we can cleanse the temple. Trying to see if there's anything else. Yeah. Cleanse the temple of its riches. <laughs> <laughs> he high fives the dragon. <laughs> Shake. Shake boy. All right. There you go. All right. Anything Next that... step is we go up the stairs really quietly. Wait, wait we're still searching. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, what are you minutes. finding? If you could look for 50 more minutes. Yeah, please. <laughs> please don't do anything yet. Or at least search with us. Maybe it'll go faster. I'll tell you what, if... If all three of you search in the next five minutes, I'll give you one one of the things you're looking for. Perfect. Is that a good deal? Do what I... happened? If you all search in the next five minutes, I will give you one of the things you're looking for in the library. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm searching. We're searching. So I'll cut the time down part by partial. Um, so uh, it. After the next about five minutes of you guys searching, um, you, uh, Dar, you pick up a uh, book from one of the shelves and open it, and it is um, an accounting of uh, one uh, Gith Zerai scholar's uh, visit to and pondering of the gate town of Atomton. Okay. Uh, we'll give you the information in a second, and I'll scroll up through the thing. Coding. Automata, yep. Uh, automata, from what you can gather from the accounting, uh, is a uh, basically it's a it's a, a town that is 
entirely suffused with uh, machinery and, and law and order. It, the town's geography is uh, as rigid as its bureaucracy. Its buildings are meticulously uh, maintained and erected with mathematical precision. Everything is a right angle. Everything is a decimal point. Everything is exactly in its place all the time. Um, confusing to most people, but not to the Modrons that live there. The primary citizens that exist in this town are Modrons, although other people exist as well. Okay. Um, the... I guess ruling body, you could say, of the town are known as the Council of Order. There are three of them um, that exist, although you're not you're not certain if the names that are mentioned uh, are the current ones, considering how old and dusty this tome is when you took it off the shelf. Um, uh, each major decision essentially is subject to the council's scrutiny. And there's a massive bureaucratic gauntlet that anything that has to get done has to go through before it's actually done. Okay. Um, the the big uh, claim to fame of Automata is that at the center of town there is a massive gear that holds the portal to Meganus. Mm. Which people could travel to to get to that plane of existence. It's a plane of the purest law and order. Okay. Sounds like a fucking hoot. Take that book with us. I don't want to take the book with me. I just want to learn. I was looking for anything treasure like gems, gold, silver. There's a candle. Um. Cool. Did I'll I pick up anything? I'll take the no. candle. Is there anything special about it? Partially, partially just magical. Used partially melted candle that appears to be some kind of ritual significance. Did I pick um, up anything? I'll light it. And kind of carry it around. I need to sign the candles. The one. Great. <laughs> okay. What? Uh, the book comes to life. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, Don't tell me the statues come to life. God damn it. Did you get a blessing? He lit the candle. Okay. Uh, and you rolled light, a one. You light the candle and um, the flame uh, immediately turns to a, a deep shade of cherry red. And you now have a lit what? candle. That would be good. And you now you have a what? <laughs> you now have a lit candle. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, you, re you reckon with the rate that the candle burns could be about an hour before it's consumed in its entirety. Mm. I'm Nothing gonna else a candle happens. next to me right now. Everybody, light a candle. Candle. Um. <laughs> All right, never mind. Sorry, I was reading the second part of this, and it's insane. But you, it, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, oh, I want to know. No. Don't gatekeep. You don't. You don't know. You don't have. You don't have identified. You don't know what this candle does. Um, I'll set it. Uh, <laughs> well, glow in red. I. I don't know. Perhaps I should blow it out. Wait. Maybe it indicates the presence of something. Perhaps. Ooh. Maybe. Uh, I'll just show it the utmost respect. I'm gonna put the candle on the the shrine, uh, of the gifts or I. Okay. Oh God. You can do so. I'll do that. Um, as you kind of approach and place the candle on the shrine, um, the the mummy's eyes open on the inside, oh, and uh, you can see there's two brass eyes on the inside that have kind of been placed there, and they swivel to face you. Uh, uh, God damn it! Uh, just just that, uh, turn in your candle, sir. Well, I guess I'll put myself over here. I'm gonna curse in Draconic. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna. Did I hear that? Because I'm gonna turn and ask what's going on over there. I'm gonna slowly back away <laughs> after setting that on there. Sure. As you as you kind of back away from it, the eyes close again, and the mummy goes back to rest. Okay. Don't don't bother him. He's still. He's did you say something about? Did you say something about there still being? 
Baby sleeping. Uh, there are monks here, scholars, because uh, I think he's still alive. We're just ruining his beauty sleep. Maybe it's time to get out of here. All right. Let's go up the stairs really quiet now. Uh, so since it's been a little while, I will do another stealth check for you guys. Okay. All right. Great. So Jingle that's... jangling up the stairs. Yep. Dale. Ten. Ten. Eight. We're just like normal. <laughs> Roll the fucking now. Well, man. it's more like we can't stay silent. Going up these stairs is more like we can be stealthy, but just not again. This looks familiar. They're gone. So you arrive back in the familiar room where you once were. Uh, the damage oh. to the wall is still done. The damage, the battle damage is still around. Uh, it hasn't really been bothered to clean up except that the bodies are no longer there. That makes sense. Well, this place uh, do we can I can I that. listen for any voices? Yes, make me a perception check. Also, um, just as a uh, as a refresher, there are uh, several doors in the room here, and there is a ladder where Dar is right now that goes upward to the third floor. Damn. Yeah. What is? Wait, Daniel, change your character thing when you roll. Um, I'm not opening the door. I'm I'm listening for voices coming from anywhere. Make a perception check. I obviously hear nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, as far as you can tell, it is silent. Even with a sixteen. Yeah, you don't hear anything. You don't see anything strange. Um, it is it is silent as far as you can tell. You don't hear anything from where you are. Um, now, Dar, uh, as you look up the ladder, uh, the ladder ascends into pitch blackness. So, oh, great! Not aware of what's up there, really. What about? Wait, do the stairs keep going up, or? No, the stairs only go from the first floor to the second floor. Oh, okay. Uh, I could light a torch. What do you guys think? I'm willing to go up this ladder, but I <laughs> should we go back and get in. that candle? <laughs> no, no, I think we leave the candle alone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't well, know what's in this. Do you want to check these go, doors? I don't mind going up. You want to check, make sure nothing follows us. These doors are they locked? Those doors are not locked. Okay. I mean, we. I'll. I'll go over here. I'll listen at the door. Assuming I don't hear anything, I'll go in. I'll, just, I'll, I'll, I'll open it and peek in, though. I don't want to enter. Yeah. yeah. Roll a perception check first for your listening at it. You don't hear anything inside. Is it unlocked? Yeah. If you click on the door symbol, you can unlock it yourself. Oh. Okay. I'm going to peek in and look in. And that room has uh, two beds, a writing desk, and an empty cabinet. Hannah, yours has a single bed, a desk, and a cabinet, which uh, you can search if you want to. So this is okay. uh, this is part of the monastery thing for this these priests. All right, I'm gonna give it the once over, see what I can find, the writing desk or the night, sure. nightstands or anything. Uh, there's nothing in your room, Dad. In Kava's room, that the cabinet has a bunch of robes in it, but nothing else. Okay, never mind. All right. Um. I have torches. If you want to light a torch, I'll go up the ladder. But I don't want—I want to see what I'm getting into. And if something is up there, I'd rather f fight them coming down this ladder than the other way around. Okay. Okay. So you're lighting a torch. I am. Okay. And you're going up the ladder. I'm going to look up using the torch to see what I can see. The light from the torch does not penetrate upstairs. You still cannot see up there. I don't like that. You have to go up there. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't. We're uh, probably better without the light anyway. Might give us away. Well, I can't see in the dark, can you? No. Oh, I can. You. 
<laughs> you can? I think so. You have dark vision? I thought I did. But I did. Well, whatever. I, so. I don't believe I, I... do. Uh, okay. Never mind. Yeah, I'll I thought take... I could. Wait. Hang on. Do we want to go up this ladder? I don't see another way. Unless you want to go back down to the library and keep going around in circles. I think here's what I think. I think the battle we just fought in here, I think, was would have been heard by anybody up this ladder. And we would have had more visitors. So I think it's probably whatever's up there. You know. Didn't hear that fight that happened. All right. Yesterday. Maybe they left. Okay, I'm going to take the torch. I'm going to start slowly climbing the ladder, and I'm going to see if the torchlight penetrates at all as I get closer to the ceiling. It does not. And in fact, as you reach a certain point, the light and the head of the torch disappear entirely. Okay, uh, back down the ladder. <laughs> as you climb back down the ladder, the torch reappears. Okay. Like there is a barrier there where light doesn't pass through. Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, I'm not going up there. There's really magic do. darkness up there, and uh, I do not want to go into magic darkness if I don't know what's up there. Fair, fair call. Let's 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 go back down to the library. Let's leave the library. Let's keep going around. See what we can find on the bottom floor. If there is a third floor to this place, this is not the way I want to go up. What if we went out this way and climbed up through the window like we were doing last time? No, I don't. I don't like that idea either. With the rope. That? Oh, that's the toilet. Yeah, I don't like that idea either. Let, why don't I tell you what? Why don't we use the temple as it was designed to be used? Walk around where people walked, go through doors that people went through. Why don't we? Like, all right. Anyone got a grapple on hook? Star. Uh, do I have a grappling hook? I thought I you had a rope. I have rope. I don't know if I have a grappling hook. I have a rope, too. I don't think I have a grappling hook. Um, gosh. I, I'm all for going back down to the library again. Perhaps it's best to just go to the gate town and search for him there. Yeah. Or just search the bottom floor. Like I said, let's clear the bottom floor so that nothing follows us up to the second floor. And who knows? There's other there's other sections of this compound, not just this same room. We right. can find a lot of other different places. But I'm not going up to some place that's been magically darkened. Fair enough. Okay, let's go back downstairs. Right. Back to the library. We go down there, there's like a bunch of fucking demons down there or something. <laughs> Uh, let's hope not. Go back down. Um, yeah. The candle you left burning is about five minutes expended. Okay. There's some There's doors over here. They're locked. This goes to the other side. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go out these eastern doors, east side doors. They're oh, they're locked. locked. Oh. All right. Well, then let's leave. Let's go out the other way, the way we came. Back to the hallway. Sure. And back around in a circle. Well, I'll save you guys some time. Uh, there's not anything else on the first floor that you haven't already seen. Um, it's just I these concentric rings that just form pathways. Um, if you're looking up at the tower, like if you go, if you exit and go back up and look for any other point of entry. Um, the the floors from three and up are part of the central tower of the castle and have no window access. Okay. Yeah. why it's so dark up there. Yeah, but the torch didn't light it up. Torchlight didn't light up that room, so something else is going on. Does anybody on. have magic? Magic light? So it looks yeah. like we do have to go up into that room then. We don't have a choice. What about magic light? If we want to keep ex exploring. I say, let's grab that magic candle-looking ass and put it up there. That's uh, that's worth a try. Because I don't know if that'll disappear or not, but it does seem like it has magic in it. 
Fine. Fine. Alright, I pick up the candle. Okay. Wherever it is. The mummy comes alive! Oh, no. Sorry, just that. As you approach Hannah and you pick up the candle, the uh, the eyes of the mummy open and the brass the brass eyes inside swivel to stare at you. Until you back away and then they close again. Um, also, okay. as you guys are kind of gathering the central chamber, um, Silver Fox, since you have the highest perception, um, you do hear uh, two... Um, you do hear some movement coming from upstairs. Wait. There's movement coming from upstairs. <laughs> and you hear... You hear a, a similar um, chittering kind of sound in another language you don't understand. Um, hushed and indecipherable, but uh, language nonetheless. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of coming from the room we were just in. Yes. Do you want them to hear you? All right. Let's okay. take some positions in this room and try to lure them down the stairs. There's only lure, one way no. they can. There's only one way they can come down here, and we can see it. If we spread out and use ranged weapons, we could uh, uh, essentially bottleneck them in that staircase and win the fight. It's better than going up into that cramped room and getting surprised again, wouldn't you say? Yeah. All right, I'm going to take a... hear footsteps on the staircase itself. Okay. okay. I get I'm going to position. take position, longbow out. Longbow is out. Crossbow. <laughs> Roll me stealth um, checks if you're hiding. Yeah, I'm, I, I am, okay. I am I'm hiding. hiding. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh my god! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> is stealth tied to wisdom? Is that why it's so low? Yes. No, stealth is tied oh. to dexterity. You just rolled a natural one. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sake. I got 14, not that. I was trying to roll for my big. Great. Um, Having two character points open sucks. Get your dog out of there. Yeah. 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 Fido. Yeah. Handle yeah. your dog. He'll be fine. Hannah, did you get a seven? Yeah. Wait, why did you roll disadvantage twice? What do you Me? mean? No, so Or Hannah. I, it was a mistake. It okay, was the first one. I understand. All right, I was so trying two to tens, roll for a Two tens, a seven. Or no, sorry, one ten, a seven, and fourteen, and a natural one. Okay, fantastic. Um, you gonna leave your Drake companion out in the middle of the hallway like that? If he's hidden, here, boy. He's not. He's in the middle of the hallway. Here, he's boy. In the middle of the room. Uh, I'm, all right, I'm gonna put him over here. Okay. Under the table. Can I say he's under the table yeah, when I right. put him on. Yeah, the you table? put him under there. He crawls under the table and kind of lies in wait. Oh. Um. So as you guys are kind of doing that. You hear the footsteps begin to come down the staircase, and as they pass it through, and uh, these uh, similar uh, similar creatures to what you've already seen before, uh, who were the bouncers at the casino, um, begin to descend down the stairs, um, slowly and cautiously, as if they're kind of. Uh, they're like, you know, they, they're aware of your presence and they're trying to sneak around and they're trying to find you. And you only see about the bottom half of them before the entire staircase is encompassed in a blob of darkness. And you can no longer see. See them? Oh, so they are the ones controlling They're summoning the dark. darkness to hide themselves. <laughs> nice. Oh, shit. After a short period of time, um, you hear the chittering noises begin up again, and you see one of them poke his head out of the darkness. Uh, next, the one uh, close, close to dark. So he pokes his head out right about here, takes a look around, and does not seem to notice you. Okay. Even with, stay a, put. even with a five, he rolled really fucking well. I'm, I'm, I'm staying put. Um, before long, another one pokes his head out of this side, over here. 
to look around. And as he kind of pokes his head around, he looks directly at Silver Fox, his red ponytail poking above the <laughs> bookshelf just a little bit, and like immediately and then cast a spell uh, on that section, and we're gonna go ahead and roll initiative. God damn it. Oh, How come Dar didn't get Dean? Because the other one rolled I shit. It was a natural oh, one and then a natural 20. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, so there was no chance. Uh, combat. I'm gonna grab combat music here. Oh, that's the Drake. Wait. Oh, Ty. <clears throat> Wait, Ty. Why did it? Why did it take my initiative? Me and the doggy and Ty. Drakes. Because you had your. Uh, oh, I had the Drake selected. Yeah. All right. Well, then that's the Drake. Well, no, because you have to roll for the Drake. The Drake has its own what? initiative. Oh. Where is it? You have just. It's clicking on the initiative button. Where you, uh, staff button. It's a little tiny symbol at the top of the page. Oh. Yeah, you rolled for silver. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, no, that's a Drake companion. 15, Drake I know, companion. but you, you replaced your initiative with the Drake's initiative. Oh. God damn it. Yeah, so that one's that. This one's 15. So Dar rolled the same initiative. So. Yeah. As the puppy. No, yeah. Why, did... as why is that? Why did that do that? Why is it doing things that I don't want it to do? I don't know. This is shit. Actually, the uh, doesn't the doesn't the puppy um have the same initiative as? No. There. Bark, bark. I thought it did. No, it, it's Daniel's supposed to have that, in, that stuff, but he did, he didn't because he clicked the wrong tokens in the wrong order. All right. But now we know. So now we know. Now we know. Uh, let, me do, let me do that real quick. The fucking tokens. These fucking tokens. So, um, before anyone get the ch gets the chance to do anything, uh, these guys cast a spell at you. It is a 20 foot radius sphere of fog. So, uh, ellipse. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 30. Shit, Jesus Christ, this is a big circle of fun. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So a, a cloud of noxious fumes appears in the center of the room, right about there. Oh, God. And, uh, and it is, it's like this like nasty like yellow green color and it completely obscures the vision of anyone inside um, uh, you have to drop concentration in the darkness so let's go ahead and reveal that uh, unfortunately you cannot see them while you're inside but, uh, got it um, okay cool fantastic uh, so that was the start of the round. So Kava, you're up first. Um. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, I can't see them. them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna well, you can't them. see them. So. Yeah, I'm like, I don't. <laughs> they haven't attacked me yet. <laughs> A heavily obscured area. Um. Means that. If you're trying to see something that's obscured by it, you can't. You are essentially blinded. <laughs> I know. Um, so you can't you can't see anything inside of that cloud of gas. I know. I don't. Just shoot an arrow into the freaking darkness. I mean, you can if you want to. Well, you know where the staircase is. Yeah, I know like the general area, Bro, but I don't know accidentally. I mean, that's going to be a massive accuracy. You know, a negative for accuracy. And she can she draw her bow and like hold her action for yeah. when yes. the. Can I do that? Well, for when she sees someone, maybe she yeah, can do that. I don't. I don't think I could try you to can, shoot. Yeah, you can draw your. Draw your bow and hold your action for when you see an enemy. Okay. 
So that's what you do. Yeah. Uh, Silver Fox, at the start of your turn, make me a constitution saving throw, please. Gotcha. Fuck. You pass, so uh, you take half of the damage from the poison cloud. It's two, three, four, and one more. There, five. Okay, so that's one, two, uh, eight. 14, 15, 16 points of poison damage reduced to 8 points. You take 8 points of poison damage. <laughs> and then it is your turn. Who took a shit? <laughs> Which one of you doesn't know how to flush the toilet after the shot? Who fucking farted? Fucking one of you. One of you. Disgusting! One of you is! Disgusting! <laughs> Disgusting! Okay. Um, at, through coughs, he pops another bean into his mouth, chews it up, and huffs, and he puffs, and he, and he casts gust of wind to dissipate all the vapors in the area and blow the two creator, creatures um, back, potentially. The creatures yeah. away. The thing about gust of wind is it does disperse clouds of noxious gas. Oh, yeah. So, uh, two things well, happen. I'm blowing the fart towards you, Hannah. <laughs> Actually, three things happen. <laughs> so, the, the fog cloud, as you blow this, mag this like magical gust of wind out, the fog cloud completely dissipates in the air and is gone. Um, the, uh, let's see, each creature starts, uh, starts his turn in the line. We succeed on a straight saving throw. So, at the start of their turn, they'll have to make that. Now, in the meantime... Uh, Kava Wait, uh, uh, can yeah. see the enemy, so pick which one you want to shoot at, and you can use your reaction to shoot at them. A 10. Unfortunately, no. That does not hit. Yeah, okay. So you take a shot, and it goes, like, kind of into the wind tunnel, and the wind kind of forces it to go off kilter. And, okay. uh, away. Okay. Uh, anything else turn. for you? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna stay right here. All right, Dar. Uh, stand up and fire arrows at the closest guy to me. Okay, go for it. Uh, two arrows. I'm guessing. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you have two attacks. All right, longbow. It, ah. Whatever you have yeah. on you. Longbow. Nine. Okay. Uh, and the second, sec second attack. Team, yep, that'll also hit, but just hits. So, uh, these guys, you don't have a magical bow, yeah? No. Okay, so four and five, so nine points of damage total. The arrows did, did not do as much die. damage as you thought they would do. Um, okay. They kind of, def they kind of deflect off the hide uh, of these chitinous like, right. cockroach creatures. Basically. Um, I think I'm gonna hold action. Cannot, to see you what, just use your what, action to fire. Oh, I did. Yes. Oh, do I get a bolt? Do I get a bonus action? You have a bonus oh, action. You if you want to, you can throw a dagger or something at him. As bonus action. Well, is that considered action surge? Uh, no. Is that my extra bonus attack? action offhand attack? Essentially, you use it to chuck a dagger. Nah, I don't want to do that. Okay. I I fired twice. I hit him twice. I'm gonna reload and wait and see what he does. Okay. You're ducking down behind cover. Uh, if he moves, I get another shot at him, right? No. Oh. Um, opportunity shot? No. He okay. needs to make a strength. No, he doesn't. You're not. He's not within your threatened range, and opportunity okay. attacks well, work on. Uh, I hit him attacks. twice really good, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready to hit him twice next turn. We'll see what he does. Pretty decent point of damage there. Uh, strength saving throw, yes. What is your DC? Daniel. What? What's your spell save DC? I'll save DC. Uh, give me a sec. I close my character sheet and it is load faster. It's uh, 13. Okay, he succeeds on that, so he's not pushed back. Um, now he's going to move out of the area of this to go after Dar, so he's going to go out and around the bookshelf there. 
Uh, you can see that he's wielding, um, he's wielding like this wicked looking trident, and he's going to try and uh, claw you with its hands and then poke you with his trident. Okay. Uh, it's a 17 and a 9 to hit. 17 hits. 5 points of piercing damage. Uh, do I automatically get to parry? Uh, you can if you want to use your reaction. Uh, well, how many how many points of damage did he do? 5. 9? 5? Oh, no. 5 is good. I'll take 5. Okay. Uh, that will be his turn. I don't think he can do anything else, right? No, he can't. Cool. Uh, Drake Companion from under the table. Hey, um, does he see me? He rolled a ten to hide stealth. The uh, the the guy who's standing next to the staircase. Um, the he sees you, right there. And now that Dar and Kava have attacked, he he knows where they are as well. Um, your Drake, how, what did he get to hide a ten? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he he's aware of the Drake as well. Okay. Well, he's gonna kind of crawl out from under the table and bite his fucking ankles. All right. His fankles. Nice. 22 points of... Or sorry, 22 to hit, 5 points of piercing damage. And your Drake's attacks, are they magical? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, full 5 there. Wait, how are they magical? If he bites them. He's a magical He's dragon. A magical. Uh, I, I have infused strikes, which when another creature within 30 feet of the Drake uh, that it can see hits a target with a weapon attack. Wait. It's considered magical? It's Is he actually oh, magical? Wait, wait, wait. I think it includes the drake, though. Uh, let me put it in the chat. Another creature within 30 feet of the drake strikes it. Uh, it can... Uh, 30 feet of... Within, uh, when another creature within 30 feet of the drake that it can see hits a target... Oh, with a, infuses it with its drake essence, with causing the target extra 1d6. Oh. 1d6. Okay. Draconic okay. essence. Okay. So... The Drake was here, right? Okay, that did not include the role. That wasn't included in the role anyway. Right. Um, because I think it's conditional, right? But is that is that something that you have to like use a reaction for, or does that just happen? It's a reaction. Okay, do you want to use the... It's in, it's in reactions. What? It's in reactions, under reactions. Okay, so if you wanted to, by the way, uh, before the Drake's turn, you could cause... Uh, you could have caused Dar's attacks to be magical. I could have. Yes. So that's good to know for the next time. Yeah. Uh, but so is that that's just an, a reaction I can use every time because it doesn't say uh, like once per short rest or like anything. Um, I'm guessing that's every time. I don't think so. I think it's something you can do. It doesn't. Uh, let me it's, look at the. I got the Drake Warden thing popped up. No, it's just something you can do. I think it just. Yeah, something you can do. Yeah. Um, it just it uses up its reaction, so. It can, yeah, it wouldn't be able to do that thing. So, now so, with that, and that's another creature. It's not the drake. Itself. Yeah, it's not so the drake. It's anyone other than the drake. If they hit with an attack, then it, it can do an extra damage. Cool. Um, well, that guy's threatened, so I'm gonna keep the drake. I might I might use his reaction to fucking bank him again if he tries to leave. Okay. Um, but that's what the bite did, and that's its turn. There's 12. You said your DC was 13? Yep. How far does it go flying back here? 15 feet away from you in a direction, so... 15. So he goes, like, crashing and bouncing off the table <laughs> over to that space there. Nice. Uh, at the start of his turn. Does that proc a, a fucking... <laughs> no, unfortunately not, it's, it's forced movement, so he, he doesn't get doesn't get that um so he's going to uh move out of the wind and go up to kava because kava's the closest and do the same thing trident and claws uh so claws and trident, trident and claws uh kava that's a 25 and a 17 to hit you 25 hits 12 points of piercing damage okay and at the top of the round it is your turn Okay, um, fuck this guy. I'm gonna move, so I don't... Hang on. Do, 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 do. Okay. Move here. Okay. He's gonna try and attack you. 
Okay. Uh, 26 to hit for 10. So take another 10. Okay. Um, I'm gonna shoot him with my bow. My bow. My Twice. And one with psychic damage. Yeah, if you can hit. If I can hit, yeah. Oh, I'm shooting this guy, by the way. I figured. Okay. Nice, 18 does hit. And 19 also nice. hits. Nice. So and then I had... 22 points of damage. Psychic damage, side dice. That's a D8. So an extra five points of said psychic damage. Cool. Alrighty. Yeah, he took a pretty big hit there. Um, yeah. Definitely cracked his carapace a couple times. Alright, anything else you want to do? You do have ten more feet of movement if you want to use it. Um. You also have your bonus action. If she hides behind, like, like sort of behind one of those statues, does she get cover? I'll go behind the Provided statue. Provided that it, it can't attack her again next round. All right, uh, Silver Fox, you're up next. Okay, so as a bonus action, I can move my line. Um, Wait, Garrett, will... sorry. Did you get the acid damage in there? It doesn't do the acid damage unless you want an extra 20. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry. Go ahead, Dan. So I'm going to use my action to fucking move my line. And um, cont- and and like, airbender this motherfucker, <laughs> sure, um, into the fucking okay. wall. Um, <laughs> hold on. So when, when right. his turn starts, we'll make the save again. Right, and then I'm going to, um, fire a crossbow bolt at the one attacking Dar. Okay. So as you move your line across the, the table, all the maps and papers and shit go scattering off into the distance. Hell yeah. Uh, the Mesoloth is, of course, uh, caught up in the wind <laughs> of, the, of the, the column of air there. So go ahead and roll your attacks for the second one. Very nice. Oh, that yeah. certainly hits. Doesn't he get take damage from the wall when he hits it? And this is not a magical crossbow? No. So. Does not know. Does it? It still doesn't take damage if it's a fucking magic item. Well, your crossbow isn't a magic item, right? Uh, no, but these guys still are like resistant to non-magical attacks. Yeah. I can hate that. All right. Um, and I'm gonna attack again because I'm pretty sure I have a fucking. Uh... Do you have extra attack? You should as well. I'm gonna rack another bolt and fire again at that same guy. Oof. Uh, yeah, that one unfortunately will not hit, but you do do four points of piercing damage. So there's that. Uh, do you want your Drake to use its reaction to give you extra um, damage on that first one? Yes, I will. Okay. Roll a d6 for me, and it's cold damage, yeah? Yep. I wish that it didn't just infuse your attack, but it made your attacks magical. Yeah, well, the extra damage will be magical. Uh, okay, so four, so unfortunately these things are resistant to cold, so it'll take two points oh, of damage there. But it's an additional two points of health that it doesn't have anymore. So there you go. Cool. All right. Wait, that was six damage total? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, doke. Uh, that's my turn. Cool. Dark. Uh, dropping the bow. Drawing sword and dirk. And then taking as many attacks as I can. Okay. Your magic sword. My magical sword, yeah. Mm-hmm. So how many attacks? You get as many as I can. You get with your bon- if you want to use your bonus action, it's three. Well, now, if he attacks me and hits me, I've got parry and riposte. But, um... I have to keep a reaction in order to use those. Yeah. So that would be two attacks, right? If I were to no, reserve, your, your or can I take... something you just have by, by default. Oh, okay. It's just it's another resource you have. Oh, all right. So you can choose to spend it in a number of ways. Well, um, I'm gonna you don't have to. You don't have to like expend it um, 
alongside your action unless you're holding your action for something else to happen, which you're not. You're just attacking. No, I'm going full full at him. Yeah. Are you going to use action surge wonder. as well? Well. You only get one of those per short rest, so I'm, I'm asking because you said all out. Uh, all yeah, I'm gonna shock Kana this guy, and then okay. we'll go f with the rest of it. I mean, there's no tomorrow, so let's go. Right. So, so it's gonna be sword, sword, Dirk, I guess. Three attacks. Yeah. So three, three attacks plus the extra two you get from the action surge. So five. Fifteen misses. Fifteen misses. God damn it. Dirk. Misses. Shit. Okay, and then two more. Yeah, two more. Uh, Dueling sword. So, sword. That one misses. And that one misses. Okay. <laughs> you, wow. Try as you might. All, all of your attacks, like you're, you're a flurry of blades, but they are just <laughs> glancing off of this thing's armor. It's a heavily armored carapace. I'm gonna die. Alright. Uh, unless you want to move away, that is your turn. <laughs> um... I'll retreat. Uh, well, where can I retreat? I'll retreat Forge to the safety of the ball. mummy. Okay. Uh, it's gonna take a swipe at you. Trident. Uh, fourteen to hit. No. Okay. All right. Uh, it is its turn, so it's gonna go ahead and chase you. Come down there and do its thing. It's a twelve and a twenty to hit. Twenty hits. 12 points of piercing damage. I'm going to try and parry. Okay. What does parry do? Uh, expend a superiority die to reduce the damage by the number you roll on your die plus your dex modifier. Okay. You can certainly use your reaction to do that. So, let's see. Superiority die. Where is that? Just roll your... Um, what do I roll? A D? Your other maneuver. Whatever's on the attack reaction boss. Uh, what you're, disarming, you're disarming attack, whatever that is up there. Oh, yeah. Is that the same thing? Yeah, it's the same thing. So just, just roll that and we'll take the, the roll for it. So three. Okay, so you reduce the damage by three, so nine points of piercing damage. All right. Okay. Uh, Drake Companion, at the start of its turn, go ahead and have it make a strength saving throw, please. <laughs> I like this. He just kind of goes. I, I'm. I'm not. I don't think he's gonna succeed in this. Oh, maybe he will. Who knows? All right. Sixteen. He succeeded. Wow. Cool. Um. <laughs> he's gonna go downwind anyway to attack this motherfucker. Uh, downwind. I just need to make sure that. Um. Yeah, it's moving away from you, so you can move as normal. Pass wind. Um. He's gonna bite this guy. Okay. <laughs> ah. Unfortunately, it's a miss. Bark, bark. Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, this thing fails its strength saving throw, so it goes tumbling back toward the wall there. Gets up, and then it's like really not super jazzed about this whole uh, column of wind thing. So it's going to teleport. Teleport to you. What the? And that's a <laughs> this this yeah. game is like the longest long version of Elden Ring. <laughs> <laughs> it it disappears. It, it, it disappears it's, in a cloud of bugs. You, it hits you through the statue, and you're dead. <laughs> it disappears in a cloud of bugs, which immediately get windshield splattered into the bookcases behind it, and then reappears right next to you. And that's his turn. Uh, Kava, you're up. Wait. Um, I'm gonna move here. Wait, hang on. Careful, far... he's in the line of fire here. What do you mean? I mean, if you fire a ranged weapon, your ally is in the line of fire. Yes. <laughs> okay. Doesn't seem to bother you, are that? Excellent. And well, like. <laughs> I don't know. Is it possible for me to hit no, him? No, I don't. I don't play that way. He, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I do. I think it's only like, like that if it's like I, like a I cone. think if you bot if if he's in the line of fire and you botch it, 
It hits him instead of your intended target. That's it might. I mean. Well, he's he's kind of blocking him from my view. You know. Yeah, well, she, okay. It, it is, it's like back. a. It's like a it's like a seven foot tall bug creature. Yeah, and it has armor, so there's there's a chance it just bounces off the armor instead of just doing damage, which is kind of the idea. I was going with that. So yeah. go ahead and make your attacks if you're gonna make them. Yeah, it'll hit for sure. And twenty five will also hit, so that's sixteen points of damage. Anything extra? You gonna add another more psychic dice to this? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, roll it. Oh. Nice. Extra five points. That one's this one's really not looking super hot. He's uh he's definitely getting toward the lower end of his health bar there. Um yeah, so you fire two arrows and one of them makes it makes its way at kinda of like the the like its shoulder blade near its spine, like where its oh, neck yeah. meets its back. The other one uh, hits a chink in the armor over uh, on its left it's, shoulder. It's in its crack? Sorry. <laughs> right in its crack. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot it in, in its fucking it's neck, tightness it's ass. It's back. It's the in its crack. All right, anything else you're going to do? You're going to move into cover? You're going to move anywhere else? Um, I'm going to move kind of like here, I think. Just so I have another, like eye on the other one okay. and then I'm good silver fox okay um, by the way apparently the initiative for the dragon is you share it shares mine and it just goes right after me. Oh, well, just for that. future reference um, there's no is there a wind column anymore there's still a wind there still is <laughs> I mean he's still in it technically mm -hmm. so He's He's gonna gonna have, yeah, yeah, he'll have to make the save. Um, but I'm going to um, try and fucking let loose my crossbow into his little bug belly. Sure. And you ignore the disadvantage because you have crossbow. Yep. Cool. Yeah, oh 20 yeah. Certainly. Yeah. All right. Um, I want to. Uh, so, piercer my feet. Let's me re-roll. Um, once per turn, I can... When I hit a creature with an attack that does piercing damage, I can re-roll one, one of the attack's damage dice. Yeah, you probably should. I gotta use that re-roll. Yeah, you rolled a one, so let's do that again. So, uh, so do you want me to just roll just another roll, attack? Just, no, just roll another d10, and we'll add the four to it. Fantastic. Great. 14 points ah. of piercing. Perfect. Minimum to maximum. That's cool. fine. Uh, are you gonna are you gonna use the Drake's reaction? I don't know if you can actually. Uh, uh, you're just within the range. So if you want to use the reaction for the Drake, you can. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Okay. Roll me another d6 there. This thing's gonna take seven points of piercing, followed by two, two points of cold. Okay. And your second attack. And second attack. Another crossbow. Boom. Yep, that's yeah. what gets again. Another Ooh. 14 points. You rolled nice. max twice. Damn. Another Ooh. 7 points of piercing damage. Sub 10. Is he dead yet, dude? No, like... he's, he's on death's door, though. Like, one good shot will kill him. Okay. Alright. Fuel. Lord. Uh, right uh. after your turn, the Drake gets to go, so go ahead and do that. Make okay. him uh, strength save, please. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay. God, I mean, I don't even know how far he can move. 1, 2, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. Uh, Remember, he has... It's difficult to move. He's moving closer to you through, through the line. Right. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So he's going to move right over here, and he's going to help Dar out. Okay. He's going to bite, bite the guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 18 just hits. 8 to hit. And it is its attacks are magical, I guess. Um, does it say that? Dragon essence? No, fuse dragon uh, essence? Dra Dachronic essence. Uh, no. It determines its damage immunity and 
the damage of its infused strikes, but it's not a magical thing. I actually don't think its attacks ever become magical. Oh, no, no, it does. Well, but only at 7th level. Um, I'm gonna level up. Yeah, I'm gonna level up a couple times. Uh, um, uh, anyway, that's it. It gets magic fang at level 7. Yeah, it's just extra damage, but. Um, oh, it, it is just extra damage. Magical. That's so fucking stupid. Yeah. Why is it called Magic Fang if it doesn't make the attacks magical? Well, it, it does. It's it not DM. It, it makes a it makes a, a portion of its things magical. Uh, okay. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. All right. Uh, anyway, um, that's fine. So four points of piercing there, and Dar is up next. All right, I'm going to attack with everything I have. And if I do You're manage right. to hit, I'm going to go for the disarm. Okay. And I'll save my reaction for parry and riposte. Okay. So is that three attacks then? Or how many do I get? Three attacks. Three attacks, okay. Dueling sword. Yep, that'll hit. Dueling sword. So that'll, I'm going to go for disarm. That'll miss. And then the dirt. And the Dirk will hit. All right. Okay. So the sword then, does its full seven because it's magical. And then on yeah. top of that, you add a uh, superiority dice. So roll your uh, your disarm for me. That was disarm, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, DC fifteen strength saving. I rolled a natural eighteen plus a strength, so he's not disarmed. But you okay. do do an extra eight points of damage, and since it was with your long sword, that's full damage. And then the Dirk hits for five, because it is non-magical Dirk. Okay. So that's pretty good. That was pretty good. It's uh, 12, and, 12 and 8. It's 20 points of damage. It's pretty good. Good. Right, fantastic. Uh, and you're holding your reactions for the other stuff. Please. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna stay where I'm at now. I'm not going to retreat and give him a shot at it. I'm going to do the best I can from where um, I'm at. He's going to do the trident attack on Dar and the claw attack on the dog. On the Drake, rather. But, you know. uh, claws miss with a nine, and then the 22 to hit Dar for six piercing. Okay, I'm going to... Well, for six? Yeah. I'll, I'll take the six. Okay. What even is my armor class? Uh, that thing. Let's make a straight save. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back. 14 plus... Four, so 18 for the strength saving throw against the column of air. It, it succeeds. Yep, he's going to take two attacks. Uh, ah. 12 and a 9, so that's a no. Nope. Uh, that's all he can do on his turn. Kava. He's almost dead. I'm... This one's almost dead. And... Ah, you stupid bug! He is dead. He is now dead. It's... He is she just says he is now it's dead. It's like, imagine, dead. You're in, imagine you're in Skyrim and you get that critical hit and the you're like, whoa. The arrow and then line, the bug just the goes, the bug just like, like puffs his chest out, you know, like the back and just like flops to the side. He, he falls to his knees and loses control and his body goes tumbling 15 feet into the desk over there. Yeah. Because of wind. <laughs> yeah. All right, you have your second shot if you want to take it. Take it. Get, is it my far enough? My. I... Oh, your Can longbow. I... Is, you have a longbow, right? Yeah. Yeah, your longbow's minimum range is 150 feet. Oh, okay. So cool. you're fine. Meanwhile, the mummy's watching this whole fucking fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, it doesn't say that any kind of disadvantage happens for. Okay. Uh, ten does not hit, unfortunately. Okay. So that one goes. I have, oh, he's dead. I have a bonus. He's dead. What? He was tornadoed. Have a bonus? You only have two attacks per turn. Okay. I mean, you can, you can. I'm sorry. You can make if you want to use your action surge because you're a fighter. You could do two more. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Sure. Take a shot. Shooting. Shooter McGavin. 
Seven points, fantastic, and... This is a shit like you for breakfast. Fourteen misses, okay, so seven points right. of damage to the seven. How come you eat the whatever. Points of shit? Any movement from you, or bonus actions? No, I'm good. Okay, Silver Fox. Daniel. Oh, sorry. Um. Sorry. Last. Sorry. <laughs> let me, hold on, let me take a look at my spells. I'm gonna go get a snack over here. Okay. Hmm. Nah, fuck it. Um. I'm going to. Ah, well. I attack with a spell I can't do it with my fucking crossbow. Oh, this guy's like, oh, and never mind. I'm gonna do the crossbow. What the fuck am I fucking thinking? Okay. Achoo! That'll do it. Uh, five points of piercing from that. And then another. Achoo! Oh, oh that's for right. <laughs> that one goes sailing wide. <laughs> into the opposite wall. It sticks itself in the bookcase. Wait, isn't he dead? This one's dead. Okay. I'm firing at the one that you're fighting. Oh, all right. And that's it. And then homeboy's going to bite. All right. Naturally. Glint. That's miss. Unfortunately. Any movement or bonus from you? Or no, because um, the end of your turn, so you forego that. No. Dark. Okay. Uh, attack with everything. Uh, I'll go for a superiority die if I manage to hit. Just Speed. like last time. Dueling sword. Take your shots. That'll hit. Dueling sword. 23 to hit, 17 just misses. Dirt. Antenna. Nine points right. of piercing for that one, and then disarm attack disarm. again. You're doing okay, fantastic. So we just make strength save. He'll uh, make it. Sixteen. Yeah. But you do do an extra six points of damage, so that's fine. Okay. Great. So now he's this one's sub ten. He's looking real low. He's he's oozing bug juice out of several cracks in his uh, armor there. Aim for the cracks. <laughs> Aim, right Aim for, for the crack. juice. <laughs> uh, okay. This one's dead. So the other one, uh, it gets its turn. It's going to go ahead and do the same thing it did last time. It's going to do trident and then claws. Trident and dar, claws on the dog. Uh, trident what the natural fuck? 20. Come on. <laughs> Trident's a natural 20 and a 20 day dog. And what are these Elden Ring rules here? <laughs> that's just, that's the way that hey, you went. rolled the one. You rolled the crit. You rolled the what one. What do you mean? Um, you can parry it if you want to. We're just damaged. I'm going to parry this one, yeah. Okay, so it's 17 Superiority points damage reduced by one of your superiority. Well, how do I roll, roll your, superior? Roll your disarming attack. It's the same dice. Four. Okay, so four you have plus, thir 13 points of damage. Oh, plus eight, your dexterity plus, modifier. Yeah, okay. which is four. Okay, so eight eight points removed. So nine points of damage, then. Nine points of damage. And then the dog takes eight. I'm assuming it's AC. It's the AC of 17. Oh, enter. Okay, and that's its turn. Kava. Pew, pew! <laughs> Once again, proving to be the MVP of the group. <laughs> Getting every kill. Uh, six uh, points, okay. Hit. That'll hit. And the 11 misses, unfortunately. Still alive. Um, Still alive, but it's barely breathing. I mean, you, you have to adjust for the, you know, fucking wind tunnel going through the middle of the fucking room, so mm -hmm. that's not bad. All right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You have to aim left. You have to aim at me to hit him through the wind. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, all right. So assuming that you're not moving or doing anything else, that it's Silver Fox's turn. Yeah. Well, you guessed it. We're fucking hitting him with the heavy crossbow again. Yep, that's enough to Ooh. kill. Tell me how he dies. Um, I aim for the crack, dude. <laughs> I aim for the crack and... <laughs> Lit that motherfucker open, and the bolt goes right through and hits the bookshelf on the other side. Fantastic. So yeah, right 
center of mass just through his I, I shoot it past part. Darth's head whizzing past Darth's ear flies through his chest and out the other side leaving a, a pretty decently sized impact hole where bug juice begins to uh, ooze out and cover the floor did somebody call an exterminator God. I'm gonna uh, I'm out of breath I'm breathing heavily. I'm probably bleeding. I'm going to turn and look over my shoulder at him and go, that could have hit me. Good thing you're working with a professional here. Can you stop passing wind? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I, I shall stop breaking the wind. <laughs> I'm going to uh, collapse on the ground in front of the mummy statue and just get, catch my breath. That's not a statue. Mummy. Feast your eyes. Feast your eyes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I look up in I'm front of the mummy. Brave, so <laughs> the, the bodies, by the way, as these things fall to the ground um, and compl like completely dead, um, the bodies begin to uh, steam and bubble and melt slowly. What the eyes do? The bodies do. Oh, well. Um, just go stay. Um, each of them has a trident, so if you want that. I'm not trained. Are they magical? Weapons. Are they magical? Uh, no, I just don't want to try this. No, I don't want to try this. Lame. Yeah, I'll pass. <laughs> not lame. I just don't, I'm not trained in tridents or anything that likes that's like a trident. You are trained in tridents and things that are like uh, tridents. Because no, you're a fighter. You're Can in I... all forms of martial combat. Oh, Can well. I... Okay, but he's not. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to use it. I'm just I saying, mean, I'm not if you use wanted it. to use a trident, you could figure out how to oh, use it. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not an expert in trident. So just not. like a can spear I, dad. It's like can a spear. I pet the dog? Uh, he, okay, fine. I want to pet the dog and the give it a The easiest to use weapon in the fucking world. The, the drake seems very appreciative of your scratches. Good. Lint seems to like ya. Well, he did save me, but the ankle's off of the guy that clawed me. Don't blame you. You're, you're kind of kin, aren't you? Yeah. All right, I'd say it's ah. safe to go up that ladder now. I'll see. Let's go find some treasure. Do 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 right, do do. Hold, hold still, hold still, hold still. Is there hold time still. for hold a still. a rest or get my hit points back or anything? Oh no. Not yet. Do 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 do. Not do, yet. Do, 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 we'll right, so. Once you're safe and we've captured the castle, then you can take your nap. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hold on, sorry. One second. I accidentally deleted oh all of you. From... <laughs> Shit, I don't remember what his health points were at. He's at like 22, right? Oh, fuck, I did. There we go. Oh, cool. Uh, okay, so making your way up the ladder. We'll just say you figure out a way to get the Drake up there, because Drake can't really climb ladders, but whatever. There you um, go. The... This room is uh, dominated by a sculpture of a gigantic human-like figure that is looming over a broad circular table. That's right over there. A ladder, I don't see anything. A ladder to the north descends, which is where you came from, and a ladder to the south, which is over here, climbs to the floor above. Wait, what? Where? Where? Is that a map? I'm not seeing up anything. On, you'll go scroll up. Go oh, all the way up on the screen. Scroll up. Oh, I see now. Well, now where? where okay. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, this is the top of the ladder. Okay, okay. Yeah. Got it. I needed to get my bearings there. Dad. Uh, <laughs> what, 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 what do you think? What are you doing? What? What is? What is that thing? A fountain? It's a no. It's a sculpture of a gigantic human-like figure that is looming over a broad circular table. Uh, is it? Ooh, is, the table looks like a map. Is it a map? It does look like a map. I'm gonna go over and make see if it's a map. It is. It is it's in fact a map. I'm gonna. Uh, it doesn't get have out. any markers on it. Where the it hell? I'm gonna get out. It is a map of. It's a zoomed-in map of the castle. Uh, that's kind of. 
the model of the castle itself. Ah, I see. Oh. Does the figure look like a gift, Zerai? Uh, no, he does not. Um, I think I have art for him, actually. Let me see if I can find the art. Where are his? Outlands map, sigil map. Okay. That fight wouldn't it's have been. A the ca of... It's a map of the castle that we're in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and there's another ladder leading up. There is. Uh, give me one I second. would like to go up the ladder. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pause real quick. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll tell I think you. we should In long rest before I can use it again. Oh, well, I haven't used it yet, but. Okay. All right, we're back. Uh, okay. What, what's going on? What are you doing? We're we're gonna examine the map table. Okay. And we're gonna see what we can learn about this place from the map table. Anyone else doing anything else? No. Okay, fine. Sorry. <laughs> I'm eating. Sorry. No. All right. Shit. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Um, okay, so just... I, I'm not going to make you roll for this because there's no, there's no reason to at the moment. Um, but it's, it's basically, it's this... Um, it's a, it's a humanoid statue. It's got this weird, like, head covering with, like, swirl designs on it that covers the eyes and a long cylindrical kind of helmet that's covering everything. And then it has a mantle with the same similar swirling designs on its shoulders. And then uh, more swirl designs go down the arms that are kind of gripping the, the bowl on either side. Um... Swirly. I also I also misspoke before, so it's not a model of the castle, it's a model of the spire and sigil resting on top. Ah. Uh, okay. So, at the moment, that's what you see. Can I um, get out my Outlands map and compare it and try and um, coordinate where uh, Automata might be? Uh, it's, it's too zoomed in for you to find any kind of actual direction out of it. So it's just a zoomed in. Uh, it is, okay. yeah, for now, yes. Um, for the for the record, uh, go ahead and make an Arcana check for me. Can we all do that? Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. That's about right. Uh, Kava, nothing either. But um, Silver Fox, just taking a look at this thing, it appears to be dormant at the moment, but it could be activated somehow. Mm. Looks magical sure. on me. Yeah, you're not sure exactly how to do that. Um, the skull! But... Maybe my holy water will help. No one makes a map that fancy that isn't magical. Perhaps we could find a way to operate, operate it when we go upstairs, or up the ladder, I guess. Maybe my compass? Can I pull out my compass and see what it... Is it freaking out? Uh, no, it is not. Your, your compass, for, for reference, only points to one specific portal, and that's the portal we've entered the Outlands from. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I have no clue. I'm gonna go up the ladder. Is there a switch or something? Um, make an investigation. To go up the ladder? No, Hannah's no. investigating the thing. Oh. oh. I'll tell you what's up the ladder in a second. Nine. Okay. Uh, none that you can see. Yeah. Do you guys want to check? <laughs> check the table for switches? Yeah. Mechanisms? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, alright. I'll check it. Roll I didn't roll very well. That's pretty good, right? 16. Okay. And is Silver Fox going up the ladder, or is he doing the investigation check as well? I I'm going to join in the investigation. Why not? Alright. <laughs> I'm really <laughs> bored and I want to go up the ladder. You know, ha have, the, have, the, have the dog check, too. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's a dog. Um, all right, so you guys don't find anything regardless. Um, you don't see any switches, anything that would constitute an activatable anything. On the... Okay. Okay. Well, we tried. If it's possible, Silver Fox has learned now knows less about the table than he did when he first started. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps I was mistaken. <laughs> Now I'm just confused. I didn't think learning could go backwards, but you've made it possible with your one. <laughs> or you're so misled. I think this is a buffet table. <laughs> I just could totally get it wrong. Looks like a game of who's like a It looks like Settlers <laughs> of Catan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Daniel, go ahead and roll me a perception check, please. Of course. I'm really good at that, I guess. Uh. All right, so up uh, upstairs, I'm just going to drag you all up there. Um, you come upstairs, and the uh, this room is, is covered uh, with ancient tapestries uh, of the planes and cosmic alignments that are covering the walls. Um, there's a ladder that you just came through, and then there's another ladder that leads up to the uh, fifth floor. Um, and there's also uh, cowering behind... Uh, one of the tapestries, you can see a little, a little pair of, of feet. Who goes there? Um, he peeks his head out, and he looks like a, a wizened little gnome, um, wearing uh, robes and a tall hat, uh, with a specific symbol, uh, kind of embroidered on the, on the breast there. Um, and he looks out, and he's, he looks to be trembling in his boots there, and he goes, Oh, Lord, please don't kill me. I, di I didn't do anything. I swear, I I've been staying up here like you told me. Who are you? Uh, we're not uh, with those creatures that were down there. We no, killed them. No, uh, you're great. Fantastic. Great. Uh, how do I know that for sure? You can go you. look at the bubbling corpses in the, on the bottom of the ladder. Okay, I believe you. But for you. now, you'll answer our questions. All right, fine, just don't kill me. If I they weren't you. dead, we wouldn't be here. Oh, well, okay, great. Um, thanks for rescuing me. Uh, my name my name is Fandingle. Okay. Dingle what? Fandingle. Buttercup. Uh, Which one is it, Fandingle or Buttercup? Buttercup is my surname, and Fandingle is my first name. And Why are, are you, you here? What are you doing story? up here? I was, I was searching the halls here for some records that I was looking for, um, and I was accosted when these fiends showed up and decided to keep me prisoner in this tower. <laughs> what did they want? They wanted to use the tower's knowledge too, but they didn't like me poking around and shit. They wanted to use me for the information I'd already found, supposedly. And shit. You found information. What information did you find? I was looking for information on one of the gate towns here. <laughs> they wanted to do the, wanted me to what use my education town? and shit. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to put my degree to use for little and to shit. no pay. <laughs> me. Um... <laughs> Oh, well, no, come out from behind goodness. there. Come out from behind there. Right, he, he, Talk steps, to us. he steps out in front of the tapestry. Well, we're not going to hurt you. Maybe you can help us. We don't want to be here any more than you do. Where are you from? I, I work in Sigil, typically. But I ventured out into the Outlands to try and find this place so I could learn a little bit more about uh, Glorium. Who? Glorium. It's one of the gate towns out here in the Outlands. The one to Eastgard. Can you point to it on this map? <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah, do you know your way around maps? Maybe. Well... <laughs> he takes a look at the map. He says, alright, we're, we're here. And he points to... Oh, oh. He points to an area that is about halfway between the spire and the gate town of Torch. Uh... We're here, and Glorium is all the way on the other side of the Outlands. Gotcha. 
go all the all the way on the other side. So we're where are we? You're we're uh, uh cardinal, cardinal directions are weird. Oh, um, torch? What the fuck? Yeah. Where are we? We're in between torch and the spire. Oh. We're fuck. in between torch and the spire. Yeah, Wait. Here, I'll, I'll bring up the map on the little twenty. Well, I'm looking at it. Yeah, I'm looking at it. That's what he says. Yeah, that's, that's where he, he points to. So he points to. Uh, here, hold on. I'll... Maybe we're in the Vale of the Spine then. Uh, Maybe we're near Ribcage. Maybe that's the tower we're in. I want to say we're like over here somewhere. I think we're in the southwest. Oh, here? Vale of the Spine, near south of Ribcage. That's a tower. What is that? The, the diamond. Tower on a leaf. Right is that here. where we are? He'll tell us. Okay. That I'm gonna yeah. So. We'll Players. Bit so you can see. But there's That's, no. The, this there's map doesn't have any names. Uh, you guys are somewhere around here. Somebody take a screenshot. Where? 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 Somewhere <laughs> around where? Oh there. Take we a are? screenshot for Dresden. That's where we are, according to him. That's where you are, according to him. What the fuck? Right. And was he continuing? Did he have a thought that he was continuing? That he needs to continue? Did that. Um, he said, that's what he says. That I, there, this is where we are at the moment. And Glorium is way over here. Have you ever been to Automata? Uh, personally, no. But you've heard of it? Sure. Wait, Garrett, this is a map without names on it. No, I know, but the, the one we were given has names on it. Yeah. The, yeah. So I suppose, since you found what you're looking for here, you're going to return to to Sigil, huh? Well, um, yeah, I mean, I want to get the fuck out of this place. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. This place sucks like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this place! This place is fucked! <laughs> this place is ass! <laughs> <laughs> this place can suck my tiny nose balls! This is a pit in my dick! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. This place is uh, like a fucking dick! <laughs> um, <laughs> why were you, what was the information you were seeking and why did you brave such danger out here okay. in the Outlands to come get it. Um, well, I, I'm, as you can see, I'm part of the Fraternity of Order. And, uh... You're part of a frat? Wait, wait. Fraternity of Order? In Glorium? No, 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 in Sigil. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's so interesting uh, about Glorium? Uh, well, I wanted to do some research, uh, on the laws that are kind of uh, over there. They have a, an interesting way of settling disputes, and I was wondering if there's anything that I could learn from them. Yeah, see, I, I kind of fancy myself a little bit of a lawyer. Well, we may need a lawyer. You work in yeah, you Sigil. Got, you got yes. a card. <laughs> well, what, what can you tell us about Shemeshka? Oh, I I know I know Shemeshka. She's she's devious. Why do you want to know about her? Well, we're working for her. Yeah, good luck with that. Say, if you're if you're so into order, why don't you come to us? Uh, come with us uh, to to Automata. That's like the 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 land of order. No hell no. I'm out of here. I, I, I'm not staying in the Outlands any longer. I mean, look what happened. I, I'm like a day and a half out here on my own, and I get kidnapped by a bunch of fucking demons stuck in a tower. Like, I don't want to be here no more. But this time, you're not alone. Okay, what does he belong sure, to? Not. The, the, the motivational the, the, brother, the Fellowship of Order? What is it? The Fraternity of Order. Fraternity of Order. Yeah. Well, now you're in the fraternity of a bunch of fucking Outlanders who are trying to get home. I mean, and if you won't save passage, well, perhaps you might just have to take a little detour. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna leave here. Um, weren't you just begging for your life a second ago? Yes. What 
What makes you think my dragon won't take a liking to your ankles? Huh? <laughs> uh, I look at him with my hideous dragon eye. Yeah, his his, eye, his fucking his eyes go white. Like, oh fuck, god damn it, am I a prisoner again? Look, I, I, I not unless you I don't behave. Think to, I, don't, I don't. I don't think we need him anymore. Than we. I don't think got. we need to keep the little guy against his will. He knows we so to... much, though. Well, we do. What are we gonna do? Guard him day and night. He, he, he can't fight with us. Unless you have information about Automata or Rome or Modron, Modrons, then you're of no use to us. At least we know where we are now. What do you have that's going to help us do what we need to do? Um, not, I don't know. Nothing, probably. I don't know you what got you got. You got money on you? He kind of clutches at a pouch on his head. No? No. <laughs> uh -huh. That yeah, sounds like money. a lie. We need information. We need portal keys. We need we need to find out how to how to navigate this map. So, okay. You never answered me. What information did you come here to find and what? I, I did. I told you. Did I, you they have a, they have an interesting way of of settling disputes over in Glorium that's not and typical for anywhere else. So I was. And what is that? I usually trial by combat, but there are rules involved that I didn't know about. So I was trying to figure that out. What rules? Well, I don't fucking know. I didn't get the chance to fucking look it up before I got captured. Have you been in this room the entire time? Do you know what's upstairs? Uh, yeah, I've been here the whole time. I, I haven't been upstairs. Any idea what these tapestries on the walls here are? Uh, sure, maybe. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're they're depictions of uh of like planar shit. Um, give me a second to put it into words here. The tapestries of the planes and cosmic alignments. So yeah, it's a bunch of stars and shit. Like this one here, it goes over to one of the tapestries on the wall. This one here is uh, what happens when uh, all the planes line up at a certain point in time every about 287 years or so. How long ago was the last one? Uh... Last year, I think. Oh. oh. We missed that. <laughs> I, I was thinking yeah, it, was it would be like... Recent, like if I remember correctly. Okay. Wait, what did you say? It was relatively recent, if I remember correctly. When did, you, when did you two wake up in the mortuary again? Uh, oh. About a week ago. Three, three days ago? About a week ago. Four days ago. <laughs> what? Oh, about a week ago. Fuck with us and now we tweak it up. <laughs> Dad's like, huh? What? <laughs> Don't, worry about it. Oh. Don't worry about it. It's an old, it's old meme. Song, <laughs> about a week ago. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Was this celestial event about a week ago? Uh, <laughs> week I don't ago, know. Week ago. Maybe we were the celestial event. I don't know. My head hurts. I need to get out of this place. Let's. Let's let's finish searching this tower. This little headache. guy is of no use to us. There's nothing he knows or can do that's going to help us get to Automata. But here's well, what I want to do. If I need your help, I'm going to look you up because we saved your life. When we get back to Sigil, if we need a lawyer or we need help from your guild, you're going to give it, aren't you? Sure. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm Dar. That's Silver Fox. That's Kava. Remember those names. If e if any of us comes to you asking for help, you're going to give it. Whatever, man. I, I'm down for that. As long as we get the hell out of here. Well, we got one more floor to go, I think. No, we don't need to go up there. We could, we could leave now. What's up there? Nothing. And now that makes <laughs> me want to go up there even more. You, no, you I, go up there first. Fact, you go up there first, little man. All right, fine. I'll go up there. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck shit! Fuck! Punch me in my dick, why don't you? Close, 
climbs himself the ladder. Um, he opens the hatch and sticks his head up. And his head um, is incinerated. And his head goes into darkness and comes down a stump. Um, uh, <laughs> he goes up. He goes up the ladder, sticks his head up there, and uh, go ahead and make me uh, perception checks, everybody. Okay. Why am I rolling so fucking bad? I don't know, dude. Perception. I have this average is... perception. <laughs> I don't know Fuck. what's happening. Oh, yeah, I have no, no idea. Um, uh, you see him kind of mumble something under his breath, um, but then he closes the hatch and comes to the guy. He's like, there's nothing fucking up there, man. I don't know what to tell you. No, you go all the way up the ladder. We're, 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 we're going to go up there. We're going to push him up the ladder. We're going to get upstairs. Not, don't. I wouldn't. Move it. Please don't do that. No. Move. Uh, Let's he, go. He says, hey, you really don't want to go up that ladder. And he, uh, I need you to make me a saving throw real quick. Hold on. <laughs> make me a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> is this the wisdom? Everyone? This is the part where I die, isn't it? Everyone does? No, just Dar. Just Dar. Oh, <laughs> Dar is the one being the most aggressive. You don't get this. Oh, no! Um, I'm gonna... I knew I was gonna die! <laughs> Dar. Okay. So... Uh, See, I, it was a wise thing to do. That's what he does. He does stupid shit you, once in a while. Dar, you feel like you should take his advice. Like, this guy's your friend, and he really doesn't want to um, waste your time any longer. So you should probably heed his advice and, and not go up the ladder. Well, why didn't you tell us what's up there, then? All right. It's an attic. We don't want to go up there. It's a bunch of storage. There's a bunch of boxes. And what well, else? I'm, I'm, I'm a very material person. There's nothing else up there. I, can I do a wisdom? Wisdom. You want to make a wisdom saving throw? You certainly. No, can. no, no. Like I don't know. Like I want to see if no. he's lying. Okay, that would be I an insight. Push, I want to push him up the ladder and oh. climb up it. He says, "Look, underneath. man, stop trying to push me off the ladder. There's nothing up there." And make you need me to make a strength check. All right. I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw now, Silver Fox. And Kava, you can go ahead and roll me an insight check. I'm not gonna make him go up there against his will. I now I just want to leave. Yeah, same thing, uh, Silver Fox. You you. You think you want to take him at his word? Like this guy's—he's he's your friend, right? Like he doesn't—he doesn't really mean any harm. He's not our friend, he's, but he's, he's not. He, at this point in time, you consider oh, him a dear friend, and you don't want to—you oh. don't want to do anything that would go against him, right? You know, yeah, you know, you, no, I you're don't. a good guy. Yeah, right. What did what did I see? Nothing. Um, Apart from uh, a very obvious shift, shift in your friend's attitudes towards this gnomish creature, um, nothing else. Hard to read. Uh, can my Drake make a change? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I want to know what's up there, but I don't want to die. I don't care anymore. I don't want to make him do something against his will. Yeah. He's going to help us in Sigil if we need it. Let's just let the little guy go. He'll probably die okay. in the wilderness anyway. Fine. Um... Uh, also, by the way, uh, the second that Silver Fox switches and does a 180, um, Dar, you're you're immediately like, why the fuck did I consider this guy my friend? Like, I don't. That makes no sense. Yeah, you're a good, you're a good guy, Fingle Medingleberry. I'll Fingle buy you a <laughs> once we get to once we get to Sigil. That's me. Fingle, Fingle, Buttercup. You're Fingle, 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 you're, you're good pal, Fingle McCringleberry. What does he say? Fucking leprechaun. He's a gnome, so kind of. So I I do speak gnomish. Oh, I speak gnomish too. I'm going to in gnomish say, if you're really who you say you are, you understand what I'm saying. Say the word blue. <laughs> the fuck was that? <laughs> what are you? What are you cursing at me? Yeah. No, no, this is illusion. I've decided it's an illusion. I don't know if I need a wisdom check or not, but if you can get a negative 11, roll, I'll probably get one. Roll an insight check with advantage. Yeah, I'm not going to... With advantage, is not going to help me. Give it a try. <laughs> what? Seriously? <laughs> what? Seems like you're on the up and up to you. Uh... Give up. I voluntarily stop breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Man, a negative one and a one is not a great thing. Uh, Kava, you can make this check as well, because you're not currently uh, believing. Wait, which, what is the check? Sorry. Another insight, insight check. But with advantage? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, here's this. Um, do you know Gnomish? I don't think so, no. Okay, I do. Roll, roll with disadvantage. 
You don't get to make the check, Silver Fox. You're, you're think he's your friend. You have no reason to disappear. Yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah, Kava, something's wrong. This guy should know Gnomish, and he does not, because he's a gnome, and he doesn't know Gnomish. Yeah. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on. Gotcha. He's, he, he says, like, okay, Fred, guys, look, I, I get it. It's, I'm not, you know, you're meeting a weird dude in a tower, but I'm telling you, there's nothing fucking up here. We're in the middle of the wilderness. I'd like to go home. Can we go, please? Well, of course you can. Let me get out no. of the way of the ladder. No. <laughs> <laughs> Something fishy. You blocking Go the up the ladder, bitch. I'm so confused. He, he he turns to you and he says, "Look, please, I don't want to fight. Can we just ladder, leave, please?" Bitch. I mean, just do I do your old fight. friend a solid here. And uh, Kava, make me a wisdom saving throw, please. Okay. How do I do that? Wait, do I click the wisdom button? Yeah, click wisdom. No, it's wisdom. It's in the saving wisdom, throws. Saving box. throws. Oh, saving sorry. Throws saving box. throws box. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yes. Normal? Yep. Okay. Yay! Oh. Um, oh. As he's kind of speaking to you, his his mouth is saying... he's he, You hear the words that I just said to you, but his mouth is moving differently than the words that were coming out of his mouth. And you realize that he just tried to charm you. He just tried to cast a spell on you. Oh, shit. As he did that, Silver Fox, you no longer feel like he's, like, your best friend in the world anymore. Wait a, wait a sec. You're kind of an arsehole. What? Did no, you, guys, come on. You spell on us. No, no. I, no, I wouldn't do that. I'm your friend. I'm going to I'm gonna say a, a, a Noma saying that, that, uh, that says if you were really our friend... You would, uh, you would, um, help us through all, all, all manner of, How do you of trial know? together as one. <laughs> you said that in Gnomish, do you? I said that in Gnomish, and then I said, as one. No, are you gonna go together up the ladder together. or not? He as says, ah, I like you too, buddy. You're my friend. Come on. Let's get out all of right. here. You first. Up the, up all right, the ladder. I, I, can I strength, can I just put, shove him up the fucking ladder now uh if you go and try and make contact with him he, said, he just he like jumps out of your way <laughs> doesn't let you try and push him um go ahead and make uh make an attack roll for me with your with your uh, strength attack roll with my strength yeah okay so just click on your strength uh button the saving throws no just the regular score oh and we'll add three to this one Ah, oh, good. Okay. Uh, Feast your eyes. He he moves a lot faster than you thought he would, but you're still faster than him, and you manage to shove him at least partially up the ladder. And as you make contact with him, um, your hands pass through portions of fabric on his body. He's using magic. No uh, shit. You're not Figure that out ten minutes ago. What's, what's magic? At this point, he just turns to you and says, "I really wish you hadn't done that." And uh, he... wait, so is are we both like what's what's happening? Are we both on the ladder? Like what's it's, going he's on? He's an ultra. I'm just standing in front of the ladder. Like, come on, he's let's a, go. He's an arch demon, and we're all you. Die. You you pushed <laughs> him, and the illusion is dispelled as he says this. And before you, instead of this, you know, goofy little gnome, is uh, a a humanoid. Oh person with uh, small pointed horns on his forehead and a pair of leathery wings outstretched behind him. 16 year olds are screaming right now. Yeah, oh he's, no. He's super he high. was secretly a male stripper. <laughs> he's secretly oh, no. an escort. He says oh, I was hoping to make this less less awful for you but I and I really didn't want to have to use this. I'm going to have to now. I hate all of you. This whole thing sucks. I'm going home. And he casts, uh, he's going to cast another spell. <laughs> he's going to cast Etherealness on himself. And you watch, as he, you watch as he goes, he goes uh, translucent and transparent and grows more transparent until he disappears entirely from being in front of you. I'm going to uh, draw my dirk and wave it in the space where he was. There's nothing there. You've made contact with nothing. What the hell was that? He went up the ladder. Well, let's follow him then. Uh, I go up the ladder. 
because because I just rolled a one and a negative one. So by all means, I'll go first. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Holy fucking shit! It's a wizard. So going up the tower. So there are narrow windows that look out from this stark stone chamber in every direction. That's a statue, right? In the room's center stands a green crystal atop a stone pillar. And seated in the corner is a Githyanki woman in, with uh, long white hair who currently has her eyes closed. Is that you, Lazel? <laughs> She's old. It's been She's so ancient. long. Okay. <clears throat> her eyes are closed. Her eyes are closed. And as you, as you kind of walk up the ladder with her eyes still closed, she says... <laughs> Are you here to torture me some more? No. I will give you nothing, fiends. Hmm. This is a place of sanctuary, and you will leave me alone. We did, we killed all the fiends. Oh, I forgot what my accent was for a second. <laughs> we killed all the fiends. We again. killed all the fiends. Uh, no, In the other room. We'll toss he, he, he spits out the bean that he like put in his mouth earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Giant insects have met their demise at my hand. Um, she, as you as you kind of speak up, she opens her eyes and looks at you with a mixture of confusion and surprise. Like, you are not the people I thought you were. That's right. But better. Well, you weren't the person we thought you were. Who are you? My name is Zathir. I am this castle's one and only resident. What about Grandpa downstairs? <laughs> I assume you are referring to the the uh, coffin with the mummy in it. <laughs> the, coffin, <laughs> the coffin with the he's, mummy he's in it. He's the we disturbed his beauty sleep. Uh, 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 yes, Laxwell has been enchanted to help people find things in the library. I am assuming you saw his eyes open when you approached. Yes, that's what we saw. I yes, yes. Well, if you wished, you could ask him for something in the library, and he would have directed you to it. That's not the point. Who are you that has dealt with the interlopers so charitably? Well. I'm Dar. This is Kama. <laughs> and this is Silver Fox. Who are you? And we this is what happened to you? Dog. That magic that was running on you is. <laughs> it changed you, Dar. We call ourselves the Portal Jockeys. We're on a quest. I'm gonna shake Dar by the shoulders. Find and quest. Like, find our I'm out of it. Google Earth. Come to your senses, man. <laughs> We're here to roam the Outlands in search We're of our roaming, lost memories. We're roaming the Outlands. <laughs> I don't know what I gave her. For okay, this. I, right. Do I do I trust this person? Do they look menacing in any way? Is this the end I of a very long day? What 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 uh, do I what am roll, I getting out of this? Roll inside. Roll inside, Jeff. A one. <laughs> yeah, a one. <laughs> What's them again? Yeah, thirteen. Okay. Um, they, they're when they came up, they were in a in a very relaxed meditative pose. Uh, they okay. seem to pose no threat to you, and they're not moving oh. in any aggressive way. All right. I'll I'll introduce myself. I'll say, my name is Dar. We are in the Outlands, trying to get home. We're trying to find someone in Automata, but we don't know how to find Automata. Well... <clears throat> can you help us? I can help you with that. She places hands on her knees and stands up to her full height. Um, she says, follow me, and begins to climb down the ladder. <laughs> okay, I'm following. Down the ladder? Down the ladder. Again, down the ladder. Hey, that gem. Hey, Silver Fox, that gem might be valuable. Uh, is, there a ge is there a gem there? There's a, a big old green gem on the on a pedestal in the center there. Um, I eye it with uh, with envy, and I I kind of want to touch it, but I'm kind of I'm a little scared of it. It is it's held in place by a metal frame, so you'd have to like 
break it. Oh, all right. It's, it's a fix. It's I don't think. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow uh, this Laquatha lady's about or whatever. To help us, so. Yeah, I don't want to piss her off. Yeah. What's her name? Laquisha. Zathir. Zathir. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> so off. Uh... Right. So she leads you back down to the the room with the map in it. Yeah. Um. The the map and the. The map of the of the uh, sigil of the spire. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and she uh, waves her hand over in front of the eyes, of where the eyes would be on the statue, and says uh, a couple of words in Githyanki. And the the spiral patterns on this thing's face begin to uh, light up and activate. You see the statue, which was in a slumped position over the map, uh, begins to sit upright and comes to attention, essentially, and turns to face Zither. She says, <clears throat> Would you kindly zoom out on the map, please? <laughs> and just watch <laughs> like, as the... Bioshock? Would, expand. would you kindly open a browser window? Yeah. Could you kindly Google... Could you open a directions new browser window? Jesus, please? Jesus, Microsoft Edge. How long would it take using public transport? <laughs> <laughs> so the map in the bowl <laughs> begins to, like like you were pinching and spreading a Google map, uh, begins to zoom out. <laughs> the structure begins to hiss. <laughs> Theory. <laughs> I know. So the, the image that you see before you, this kind of like 3D model, begins to zoom out on itself and shrink uh, in to show more of the area. We never happens. upgraded from AOL. Ooh. And um, after after uh, just a second, you see that what was once like kind of dominating the whole bowl, this is zoomed in image of the spire and sigil. Okay. Um, sigil has now shrunk from being like the size of a lamp. <laughs> Uh, essentially, like the size of a lamp on a table, to being about the size of a of a nail. Um, and off in the distance, uh, you see a um, uh, a little spot on the map begin to glow with this like pale yellow light. Um, on another part of the map, kind of across the way from it, um, you see uh, a blue a, a blue light, similar but different color blue light appear. Um, between torch and sigil. What's the blue light? The blue light is where we are. That is our current position. The yellow oh, is light that is automata, oh. and where you requested me to find it for you. Um, Silver Fox takes the Outlands map that we we have, or one of the ones that we have. Yeah, and, I'm looking. I'm looking at and, the yellow and, tower. And and marks those positions as well as begins kind of trying to plot some kind well, of course between well, those two points. I have a calligraphy kit. Thank you for the calligraphy we could, we kit. Could make, we could make the plotting look really neat and tidy. So there's a yellow tower there I see on our map that we were given by Shemeshka. North of Torch, there's a dead tree. And then there's a yellow tower. Looks like we'd north. have to cross. A, if that's a where lake. we are now. I'll ask her, is that... Is that yellow tower where we are now? On my map? Sorry, one. Just one. Uh, you guys, yeah, you are you are right there on the map. This is where the, the blue light is. Uh, automata I have marked on this map for you. No, wait. Wait, what did she say her name was? Zathir. Zathir. We came into a position of a an artifact and he pulls out the skull which said this this temple is mobile yes the castle is the roaming castle of Yekaru. this place can move across the outlands and it did for quite a time to gather information and knowledge about the outer planes not many of my kind use this place anymore, but I maintain it as a sanctuary to them, should they ever return. Well, it'll save us a lot of walking. 
So we wait, can repair that, it so that little, the tower oh. that's in the palm of the hand, is that where we are? You guys are right no. here where the blue gem is on the map. Oh, well, So we're not here. No. But, we're but, here. all right, but look at, do you see in the, like, desert to the, like, northwest, that spidery tower on legs? Yeah. That's, that's the depiction of. I think that's that's where we are, but we are where the gem is, because this is it's a mobile tower. Oh, I see. Well, the, so the, this is the art on the tower is not indicative entirely of what's there, other than like the actual like structures. So, so there are a bunch of embellishments on this map of different things that right. exist. So you guys are here. That is your location. So we need to get across the floating leaf to the reed area, past the giant frog, past the floating goldfish. Or around. <laughs> Down and around, or up yeah. and around, which is longer. Up across across the village of Tatooine. Dive, uh, a so hive of scum and villain. Past, 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 there's there's past, Godzilla in that past, past the giant I travel through newt. the Lincoln Tunnel. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the path to fucking automata. That's, yeah. that's somewhere. Yeah, that's another planet that exists. Link link past the construction hat observatory. Yeah, which one of these out of the way? Past the hut. Pass through the fucking... The fucking... What was it? The Tomb of Destruction? The Tomb of Annihilation. Alright, so... What's her name? Look, uh, Shaquitha? What's her name? <laughs> Zathir. Safe there. Right. How do we get from here to there? Well, I am grateful for you for uh, essentially kicking those fiends out of my tower, destroying them in the ways that you had. And I have no more use for this tower sitting on the ground, so if you would like, you may use it to travel the Outlands on your quest. Yes, that's what we want. I want to be in a building that travels and can step on any of the things that we just. We have to pick up our friend first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't leave yeah we covered him with leaves. Can't them in a tree. <laughs> so, are, are you going to stay here, or we get to drive this thing? How do we drive it? How do we tell it where to go? Does it function? I I can tell it where to go, or you can try and talk to the Castellan yourself. Whichever if you can help us get to Auto Automata and complete our mission and get back to the spire we would be forever grateful and we, we will defend this tower from anything that wants to attack it to the best of our ability very well tell the so castellan you... where you wish to go and the castle will make it happen fantastic oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah but we're gonna have to cross some land here all right throw some water i know i know does that conclude our session? We're going to have to fight some stormtroopers somehow in this whole thing. So, as assuming you don't want to leave Dresden behind in a tree. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's go get... Let's move the tower to Dresden. You... Well, Dresden, let's go to the ghetto. Uh, let's go We're to the ghetto. Shopping. So, um, you... Essentially, you go and gather Dresden, bring him back to the tower. Um, you bring him up to one of the rooms and lay him down on a bed to rest. And then... Go over to the Castellan and say, "Take me to Automata, right?" Yeah, basically. Yeah, I don't care about the rest of this shit. I just need right. to go get our mission over. <laughs> cool. So, um, you watch as the uh, the lights uh, on the castle worst body, the tattoos, Disneyland trip ever begin to light up and they begin to pulse. And he comes to attention, looks at you, nods when you say, "Take me to Automata." Um, takes one of its arms off the bowl um, and begins to move the blue. Uh, light over to where Automata's yellow light is. And as they meet, the light turns green and the whole castle begins to rumble all at once. Awesome. I already moved us over. Fuck are you doing? Nice. Not Stay where you are. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not that easy. I want to go to the rib cage. I'm going to... <laughs> <laughs> I heard they have good barbecue there. We have to explore the floating goldfish. God, the Let's go to the cave with eyes. In, in the whirly, swirly the desert. Of the business. And the poppy forest <laughs> of glam oh, drink. Travel through the realm of the north. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, past the caverns of thought. 
All right, uh, you begin, and the castle, whole castle begins to rumble, and you feel uh, a, 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 the pit of your stomach drop as if you're going uh-huh. up an elevator, although some of you don't know what an elevator okay. is. Okay, right, right. And the whole castle lifts up off the ground. Wow. And begins to walk on several uh, stone uh, pillars' legs towards the direction that you told to. All right, over there. The walking castle has begun its journey, and we will pick up with that next time. Uh, next nice. Week. All right. Yeah. It's, going to take, it's going to take a number of, uh, of days to get to Automata from where you are. I'm Shit's sure there'll be there may or may not be Shit's encounters going to, to happen. <laughs> there may or may not be encounters to come across on your way. Well, I'm going to stay in the green gem room, and anything that comes up the ladder, I'm going to kick it in the nose. All right. There's a couple times where you accidentally kick uh, Silver Fox in the nose for coming. No, no. <laughs> I'm just saying that would be my plan. Yeah, yeah. To go what up to the, the most defensible point. Excuse me, Zaytir. What's that big shiny green gem upstairs? Out of curiosity. If you'd like, I can show you them. Yes, please. Show us next week. She, I gotta she, take a show. It, it, it doesn't take the lunch. You, get, you go up to the thing, she says a couple words in Githyanki again, and the entire gem begins to light up brighter, like extremely bright. <laughs> brighter than the sun. Um, at least in that moment, you think so. And you look out over... Um, the outlands you can see uh, this this tower the top of it is a beacon it's like a like a lighthouse sort of for navigation gotcha. right okay so if you were to ever uh, need to park the castle and walk away from it you could turn on the beacon and find your way back easier oh right okay so we can right. search things mm-hmm. it also alerts Excellent. everything to your presence but you know what giant walking castle doesn't Fair. right good point excellent all right so that's where we're going to end the session today. Okay. Um, the last thing I will say is you guys level up Thanks. to level six. Oh. Fuck yeah! Ooh, nice. So we will do that uh, off camera. I'll do that we'll later because I have to take a shower. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that eventually. Yeah. Uh, we'll level up all the characters to six. Awesome. And then, uh, all right. We'll On our way to automa- Automata. Yes. Automata, 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 automata. Automata. Do, 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 do. do, do. Automata. Automata. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Tamada. Tamada. <laughs>